right. Oh, live. Here we go. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I had to reboot the whole thing. We've got this. This is like an ancient technology. This is like a laptop and an old camera that we picked up, like, before we even started doing this channel. So it's like you move it and it just freezes or anything like that. So I know it's time to upgrade. Time to spend some of them YouTube bucks and upgrade the technology. But none of that is important right now. What's important is that Body Man Ron is going to tear down his engine. And um, we're here to lend moral support or taunt him. I mean, it doesn't matter to me. I just get to sit here and stay clean. Moral support, moral Chris Greenaway, Mex-American. What's happening? Louis Canale, C. Roma, Bill McKayska, Rod's Vintage SXS channel. What's happening, man? Um, Ari, Ari, Corvair Wild, Doug Narden, Doug, Dean Stevenson. What's happening, man? Um, Tony has his days mixed up. No, no, this it's Saturday all day. But he, Body Man Ron chose today to pull his his engine apart. Look, I can just squish it with my fingers. Oh, squishing your engine, squishing, <laughs> squishing your engine. That was the most retarded thing I've done all week. Well, that was per no, most was retarded perfect. thing I've done today. It was perfect. I'm crushing your engine. There was literally nothing wrong with it. Uh, where's the pizza? I don't know. The last time we did a live like this, the uh, the Jets Pizza down the road delivered like a whole stack of pies. Wouldn't that be bitching if Jets Pizza in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, was yeah. to do the same thing with a couple of eight corner, you know, pies with sausage and bacon? I I Jeez. I don't know. Oh, that'd be good. That would be awesome, right? You shouldn't be talking. You got to be working. You... <laughs> Is it time for you to taunt me already? We're already taunting. Already taunting. Samantha Johnson from Central Nebraska. It looks like you have a secret admirer. Uh, engine taken apart live. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna rip that thing apart. Yeah, he was working the broom like a pro. I, I, have you ever seen anything like that? No, not I. Not in this world. No, no. Um, zero. It is, oh, Zero. It's happening, man. Zero is here. We got Ari and we got Zero. I, I don't think I've seen Fubar yet, but we're in good hands. We got we got the team, the mods are here. I'm, I'm blocking. Well, I mean, I'm trying to be, I want to be as out of the way as possible so you guys can torrent him directly. I got the trailer here. I can't move any further to the right. Okay. There we go. That's better. Look, he put down he put down stuff. We're gonna get surgical. A liquid barrier. Whoa. It's like a giant diaper. <laughs> he put down a big diaper. I'm I'm very immature, so Roy uh, Roy Hunter, they might take swag for pizza. I'll give him swag. Bring pizza, I'll bring swag. Uh Give me an IOE for yeah, let me grab a cold beer. Go right ahead, SYD Rider. Um, okay. Sylvain Nuss, Mopar Nut from Iowa. Well, there you go. There's a Mopar. Yep. Going to slay that motor. That motor is not going to know what hit it. It's not going to know what hit it. Uncle Squirrel is blaming the squirrels. You know, oddly enough, Ron identifies as a giant squirrel. I'm squirrely. And he can be squirrely also. Jason Fitch says, now he's going to piss in your shop, on your wall, and your phone, like the old joke. I don't know that joke, but I, I, I hope he doesn't like take that seriously. Well, this is, we're going to keep this PC. Roy, Roy Heiner questions, Are you ever doing a two-stroke bike? Dude, I got all my two-stroke motorcycles are in my past. Bunch of Kawasaki triples, a couple of R5s. I never had an RT350, but I've had two R5s, uh, a bunch of various dirt bikes, but no, probably not. Probably not. I had, I picked up a, uh, a Suzuki Savage, a, 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 a 71 TS250. And I had that for a little while and, and just got rid of it recently. So I'm, tr I'm trying to I'm trying to pare it down. I'm trying to clean things up. But, you know, I don't think any more... Any more uh, I don't think any more uh, two strokes in my future. Um, where did he get that tarp? Joe Jackson wants to know where you got that tarp. Home Depot. Home Depot. This is plastic back 
paper, um, but they're actually pretty durable. He, uh, Ron just invested more in the diaper than I have in half of our cars. <laughs> Hey, this was this was $12. I bet none of your cars were that cheap. <laughs> Section 237, put it back together when he's not looking, right? I should do that. I should, I should. Hey, Ron, what's that sound over there? And like, you go see that in the shop, go put the part that he took off back on. Oh, God. Diamond Jim there with the diaper, right? Hey, listen, we've had a lot of guys here that would just slosh around and puddle of their own slop. I'm not talking about any uh, anybody Austin. I'm not talking about anybody like that. Where is Austin? Oh, wait. I'm supposed to actually talk to Austin today. Um, Tony, is this a 360? Yes, it is a 360 Magnum. Larry, yes, you're heading to pick up the drive fish, you drive shift, drive shaft for your 67 Dart convertible. Nice. I bought the restore a few months ago. Nice car. I just got rid of a 67 Dart GT. Spare a smoke. Sure, come on by me. I'll, I'll roll you one. Uh, what's the motor out of? Ron, what is that motor out of? This is out of a 97 Dodge Ram four-wheel drive. Nice. That's a good thing for it to be out of. My dad bought that truck new. And, you know, it lived a very long and productive life. But eventually, and you guys are going to love this, the squirrels got a hold of it. The squirrels, no, no crap now. Squirrels ate the wiring harness so bad that we would have had to buy a new one. And then a tree fell on it. Oh God! So you know it's gonna it's gonna be revived and stuffed into my little Dodge Dakota. Um, let's see. Samantha Johnson wants to know where's Uncle Kathy. She actually she had to go into minor surgery. She's having a uvula transplant. You know the uvula the thing that hangs oh. from you. Yeah, she got tired of the old one. She identifies with somebody with a, as a much larger uvula. So they found one and they're actually doing that now. And she should be back on her feet within two or three years. Um, two hacks. What's going on, Jeff? Um, did I sell the Dart GT? Yes, I, I sold it to uh, Josh with the satellite. I sold it to his brother. One-eyed cat. UT, we were debating on the other window. Is slag hammer a boy or a girl? Just Always a girl. All of my machinery is a she, it's a her. I don't butt heads with other males, okay? So all my machinery is our female. Samantha, yes, well, I am going to wish her well. I will tell her that you, uh, you, you know. Um, Tony, the impact is hard on the hearing aids. Turn them down, bro. That's what you get the, the sound there for. Gotta love Uncle Kathy. Yes, and you'll really love her with a new, huge, oversized uvula. <laughs> Rodney Bird, Magnum 5.9s have inconsequential head cracks and minimum bore wear. Great candidates for hone and re-ring, even standard piston soft smoke compression and indoor valve release. Yeah, I'm, yes, I'm, yes, I'm yes. supposing this thing's going to have the typical crack heads, but who cares? They're fine. Uh, Ari, guys, you fixed the speedometer on your pickup. Uh, so all the, you're going 25 on the freeway. People can eat the Rita now. <laughs> eat the Rita. <laughs> I've never heard that phrase, but I'm going to use it. <laughs> next, The next person I come across now outside of here, because I won't work on Ron, I won't work, work on you guys, but like, the next human I come across, I'm going to say, eat the Rita. Vince W., what are you doing? What is going on? You know, bro, if I knew, there's no way. There's no way I could have predicted my, my life was going to take this kind of turn. You know what I mean? That here I would be like, you know, almost 61 years old, sitting, talking to a laptop. And there's it, just, I don't know. I can't explain it. Uh, J. 
Jeremiah Sullivan, I work with the guy who owns the 69 Charger from the movie Dirty Larry Crazy Mary. He spent five oh, years wow. doing a complete resto. The one, the one I gave from the train, that would take a lot of restoration, man. Yeah, David J says, don't ask Tony such deep philosophical questions. Yeah, yeah. Keep the deep philosophical questions for Ron. He's passed all of his existential crises, and now he's like, he's he's doing okay. He's, he's doing okay. Pretty optimistic, Tone. Harry, you blame me for your streaming habits? I won't. Hey, nobody's in charge of your browser history but you, pal. Thumper, what's happening? Can anybody see you there? I see you there. Uh, you can't be serious, O3. Did you take a withdrawal from the bank today? Bro, right? Hey, I've been saying, listen. I've been saying it for years. It's coming now. It's coming now. Two banks yesterday. Two banks. Silver Bank and uh, Silicon Valley Bank. Done. They're all going down. They're all going to go down. Okay. Uh, so what are you doing? Ron, tell them what you're doing. We are ripping this engine apart so that we can uh, at least regasket and re-ring it. And we're going to go through the trans. I don't know anything about transmission. Stoney does. Not really. So I watch gonna, YouTube videos. We're going to give them all. We're going to give everything a, a, a fresh freshen. You know what I mean? And we're going to stick it in the Dodge Dakota. David, say any idea on the grudge match with Andy Casa? Coming up very soon. Coming up within the next, yes, very soon. But I'm not going to actually give a date. We're just going to go race and then we'll, we'll, we'll have the videos on our channels. Uh, let's see. Roy Heiner, we watch you from the computer, or you know, like like through YouTube, right? And you're not actually, because I worry about that. We have stalkers. It, it, it's happened. Torn two prizes. They'll be bailed out by us, probably. Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's called a bail in, and and yes, that's exactly what's going to happen. Too big to fail, part two. No more bailouts. Now they do bail ins. Won't you be surprised? Um, Ari says, a modest person never talks to themselves. My fortune cookie. I don't see what modesty has to do with it. Um, Leader who's in dude. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh, What's a rear sump engine doing in Uncle Tony's garage? I actually happen to have two vehicles that have rear sump oil pans. So, you know, no, three. I have three with rear sump oil pans. Ron, what is a rear sump oil pan doing in Uncle Tony's garage? Well, this came out of a truck and it's going in another truck and we're tearing it apart. I think we, I got to try to get closer to you. Hang on. Let me move this thing. Let me move this thing closer. Can I say the thing? What thing? The thing I annoyed you with the other day. The what? The thing I annoyed you with the other day. What was it? About the corner. The corner? Yeah. What was it? I, I don't remember. Magnum corner? Oh, Magnum corner. This is officially Magnum corner that we're in. Okay. Tilt this down. Welcome to Magnum corner. That's pretty annoying. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let me slide that's this that's out of the way. If you remember. Okay. Um. Sid, Sid Luscious, move to where your sack is eye level. See, and, pe and people wonder why I don't like to make personal appearances places. All right. All right. I'm going to turn that up a little bit. Hey, I th that might be a little bit better. <coughs> um, let's see. Little Red Garage, I'd love to see the truck this is going in. You will. Right. You will. Right Ron only has, bro, you've only got 64 likes. Well, I mean, so 64 not a, thumbs up. Not a very popular person. I'm seeing that. There's 236 people, but only 64 likes. Well, you know, maybe they'll get to know me and uh, that'll grow by two or three. I see. Uh, Thumper, how difficult would it be to put an early Hemi in an 88 Dakota? 
No, not, oh, I mean, I couldn't tell you about exhaust and stuff like that, but the motor mounts, the motor mount ears on, on, a, on, a, on an early Hemi are the same as, as a small block. So you could just use small block Chrysler motor mounts and drop it in. There are, there are a lot of people, well, I say a lot, there are companies out there that make big block and second gen Hemi mounts for the Dakota platform all years. What? Again, I'm sorry, not all years because we kind of disown the 05 and up Dakota. No 05 and up Dakotas. Yeah, no. Okay. Fire up the pit bike. Maybe, maybe later. Maybe later. Uh, Ron knew who? I, I don't know. Dean Stevenson says Ron knew who? And then a clapping emoji and it looks like a, a wave emoji uh, and then a squiggly line emoji well, and then I'm a not, sunrise emoji. I'm not surprised we have somebody mentally ill. I, 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 they, they're very interesting, Dean Stevenson. Okay. Ian Norton, UT, please don't start messing around with this camera also. No, no, I'm, I'm, I just, it's on a rolling table, so I just moved the table a little bit closer. Oh, there you go. Now you got 97 likes. They must feel they must have felt bad for you, bro. It's because they heard me say, Welcome to Magnum Corner. Welcome to Magnum Corner. Dude, we're 16 minutes and 28 seconds in, and you don't have that fucking thing apart yet. Well, I mean, that's you know, you said moral support or oral duration, so there yes. it is. You know which one you need now. Uh oh, Uncle Kathy, she's uh, she's healing from that uvula transplant, but she sent me a Message, can you please check your texts? Okay, I gotta check my texts. Oh, oh no. Yes. What well, car can I get? Oh. Is everything okay in Tony Land? Just take take the black one. Take the black one. Do you wanna know which which Jeep to take? Well, whichever one will start. Probably. Well she's still she's still a little woozy from the uvula transplant. They say it's a major operation. Bazooka Bart, this is your first live? Yes, I like your style too, Bazooka Bert. John M, uvula, did she have time slice? No, she always felt that her uvula was a little too small. She's self-conscious like that. So that's why that's why you never see her yawn. You know, a lot of people just have no problem yawning. Kathy won't yawn in front of you because she felt that her uvula was too small. So she raised she, she found a surgeon in Costa Rica that was that specializes in uvula transplants and uvula enlargement, and she's going through that process now. Make her a little bit less self-conscious. They probably use like a little balloon, don't they? I don't know. It's a it's a crazy operation. Yeah. I got to tell you. I mean, hopefully, it was like a cadaver uvula, and not a, a, a live person's uvula. We don't, we don't want Kathy to be participating in organ, black market organ stuff. Well, Roy Hyphen, is that a usual anoscomy? Yes. Yes, exactly. That's what it is. Costa Rica is the best medical people in the entire world. You're absolutely right, Bumper. <laughs> Messed up there. Is she going to get an eyeball tattooed on a tooth? No. Who? Come on. Jason, who in their right mind would tattoo their oversized uvula? Come on. You know what? If she was 20, she would. Well, yeah, you're right. She's a little goth and stuff. She she have it, she tattooed she tattoo it black. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah. David J, give Body Man Ron a swig from your U official UT squirt bottle. He's working up a sweat. Yeah, I, do you really think you're going to ask me to squirt gasoline on him now? Hard no. Jason Fitch, don't make me Google uvula tattoo because it's out there, bro. Hang on. <laughs> I'm going to check my phone. I got my phone right here. 100%. <laughs> now, the only problem is now if I search that, right, now I'm going to get hit with all sorts of uvula like ads and whatnot. Uvula <laughs> <Yeah>. ads? <laughs> I don't even know how you spell it. U V U L A. 
Thanks, that's my band name now, Uvula ass. Uvula tattoo. Oh my god. Images. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, make sure you don't type Boba tattoos, because that'd be a different thing. Oh my god. This this <laughs> You don't want to see this. I'm not even going to show it to you. I'm just, I'm just going to pretend I never saw that and go on my way. It never happened. Boy, just when you think you're weird, you know what I'm saying? Just, just when you think that, okay, you know, I'm, I got to be maxed out. No, you got to see what people do to their freaking uvulas. Uvula. Oh, Kathy's saying, stop messing up my Google ads. Sorry, you know how that goes. Oil pans off. How's the bottom end look? How's the bottom end look? Uh, I don't have a clue. Well, why don't you look at the bottom of your oil pan and see if there's any like connecting rods? Well, I mean, there's not any like whole engine parts. It's not even particularly crudded up, to be honest with you. Zero. We are being watched. I'm always being watched. James, it's normal James Swamp Rat. You're closing in on that 24-7 presence. So you're going to be in my mirror. Yes. You know, I mean, in all honesty, it uh, looks pretty good. It's got a, you know, a nice black oil-soaked finish on everything. But, you know, it was running fine when he gave up on it. So there you go. Uh, what are you doing with that engine? He's tearing it apart in preparation for a rebuild. Stick it in a Dodge Dakota. My coffee is getting cold. Uh, Domantas. Hello. Hello, Domantas. Um, let's see. Hangle Tony, we're building a 3800. Do you have any tips? I mean, not, not like specific to that engine. I, I, I mean, you know, no general 3800 tips. I've done a few of those. Um, Domantis, glad to be up late enough to catch a stream. What, what part of the universe are you in, Domantis? It's mid-afternoon. Morbid, morbid, sadistic balls. That's the guy's name. It's Morbid <laughs> Sadistic Bull. That's perfect. Uncle Tony, how are you doing from PA? I'm doing great. Did your parents name you that? Is that your actual? Because that would be very cool if that was your actual name. Uh, let's see. Oh, shit. Mm. That's the end of the coffee. Mm. Morbid Sadistic Bulls. We have a YouTube snake channel, and that's the name of it. So, okay. So now, I, I have, I, 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 might be, I might be naive. I've never seen snake balls. Um, Darren Herbert, are you ever going to come up to Canada? Probably not. It's cold there. Yeah. Then it's time for more coffee. Yeah, but I, I got to go get coffee. I don't have a coffee maker here. I don't know why I don't have a coffee maker here. but Actually, I do have a coffee maker. I've just never hooked it up. Oh, you have ball pythons. Okay, okay. Kim fixes things. Kim, what's happening? Kim, you got that mini bike running? Ready to drag? I, I, that's, a, that's a weird catch up. You ready to race? Kim. No coffee maker. What's up? I don't have a chick around the shop. You can't have a coffee maker without a chick. Because what's, who's going to bring you the coffee? You don't like to work. You can just go get it yourself. Where's the sport in that? Come on. <laughs> I mean. Your bike is ready. Your soil is ready. Kim, anytime you want to rock, let's let's just bring it on. Bring it on. Let's do this thing. C 
see Roma. How about a nice cup of Perkins coffee from Staten Island? I used to, when I was a teenager, I mean, we lived at Perkins. Anytime, it didn't matter what you were doing, you'd finish up at Perkins. Always ended the night at Perkins. Kim, yours goes 38 miles an hour? Come on. But what's it, what's it do from the dig? That's the question. I mean, I could probably gear mine to go 38 miles an hour too, but what's it going to do from the dig? Samantha Johnson says her mind goes faster than that. Cigarette roll. Good morning, Grumpy from Down Under. Frank Morgan, old boy needs to roll a chair back there on his knees. No, Ron, Ron's got... Ron chairs, has, make, chairs make you lazy. I don't use a chair. Ron has the knees of a ballerina. Shit. It's crazy. I'm not sure about my weight disadvantage, Kim. I, I lost like six pounds, Kim. Okay, um, I'll smoke you off the line. Well, that's the whole point. Has she seen the GTI gear? Warrior? Hello, my fellow degenerates. What's happening, man? Has she seen the gear on your uniform? Frank F., what's happening? Um, Jonathan, do you like the Ford F-150 truck? You know, I have nothing against them. I mean, I, 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 I take them or leave them. You know what I'm saying? I love Andy's truck. That F100 is just so sweet. But I mean, I mean, I mean it's, one, it's one of those F150s and, and, and I'll tell you what, all pickup trucks. I'm just not a pickup truck guy. I have my record. That's as close to a pickup truck as I... Uh... Kim says, I got, I got double the cubes. You've only got 100 in that thing in yours? You got, you got, the, you got the CT100? Because mine's a CT100 with a, with, a, with a 200 motor, 200 swap. A swap route, when you snuck out of the house in the middle of the night to walk to 7-Eleven to look at car magazines, did you also get coffee? Yes. I, are you kidding me? I lived on their coffee. And look, um, see? Something's never changed. 50, almost 50 years later, I'm still drinking 7-Eleven coffee. You know what they don't have anymore? They don't have those mystery meat sandwiches. You remember, you remember back in the 70s, the mystery meat 7-Eleven microwave sandwiches? I forgot what they called them. They were like completely synthetic. Like they, they, you knew they weren't fit for human consumption, but you had to eat like three of the things. You got a CT100, but you also own a 212. Ooh. The Predator's tough. The Predator's tough. Okay. Ron, Ron, is, Ron disappeared. I just noticed Ron's, Ron's no longer pulling his motor apart. Well, you know, I, I, I'm trying to find, I don't have any standard sockets because, you know, Mopar in the 90s, they couldn't just do one or the other. You got no, that's true. And standard on these stupid things. And I only work on new stuff and it's all metric now. Uh, yeah, and the soybean burgers? Oh, uh, yeah, no. Nah. No, they used to have these. I forgot what they called them. It was, it was, it was a meat thing. Is the only way I could describe it. It was like, it was like yay long. It was, it was like a, you know, a, like a hero, not a hero. It was like, it was like a long hamburger bun, and it had a meat thing in the middle of it with some kind of like brown gravy on it. 
I forgot. For steak sandwich. I forgot what they called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but we had a name. It had a name. Oh, okay. I was, had I was name. there then. Yeah, no, you weren't even born yet. Your parents probably weren't even born yet. How old are you? I'm 41. My parents were born. Barely. Yeah. Maybe dad was born in 56. Okay. Uh, do I like the Jaguar straight sex? I do. I actually do. Little, little Red Garage, what do you and Ron think about the Little Red Express trucks? Ron, what do you think of the Little Red Express trucks? Yeah, I think they're pretty cool. Um, I, I, don't, I don't love them the way some people love them, but I think they're pretty cool. They lost me with the stacks, okay? Yeah, see, that's, that's one of the things, you know? Like, the stacks don't work. If they, that to get, for me, if I had one, it would have to have side pipes. Yeah, see, that's where they screwed up. I would have been a big Little Red Express fan. And this is going back like when they came out, right? I would have been like all over that basic idea, the basic concept. But they lost me with the freaking stacks. You know, I, just, I can't. I just, I just can't. I just can't. I can't go there. Same for the Warlock, really. Okay. Um, let's see. Cave Dave likes the Warlock. Um, isn't isn't the Jag engine by the Jag engine by Ford? No, no. The, the 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 original Jaguar motor was all it was a Jaguar creation. I mean, yeah, there was all kind of crossbreeding and mingling, mingling later on, but not when those things were they came out. Uh, so far, where does one find Iran, who bangs on motors in your backdrop like he's your house band? That is my house band. You know, sometimes you got to do things the hard way. Dealing, you don't like side pipes? I kind of do. I, I kind of do. I like side pipes. I don't like stacks. Benjamin C. UT, is Mission Impossible going further than just stock parts? Uh, is it getting aftermarket parts as stage two or something? No. You know, honestly, honestly, there's so much confusion with that whole thing. I, I, I don't understand. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I do not understand exactly what's going on with that. Uh, I, I need to catch up with them. But I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. It's that simple. I just don't understand. So far... I've been watching Bizarre's channel. It's all stock stuff. Refurbished stock. All of it. Except for like rod nuts. 72 GTX clone heavily raked with five types locally. There's a on on Facebook Marketplace right now, there's a 70 if I would if I was if I was in the market for another car, and I'm not, I'm definitely not. Uh, there's a 71 GTX. In Texas, they went 8,900 bucks for this thing. 440 automatic car, all there, all there. It looks like it needs like just my work. 80, 8,300, I think, 80, 80 something hundred dollars. I would, I would have jumped all over that. Um, morbid sadistic balls. Can we put our links to our YouTube channel? Sure, go ahead, man. Andrew Niven, I thought you quit smoking. I did quit smoking. I, I let me tell you, I here's the thing, right? I don't smoke between drags, never, right? In between, I, I take I take a, I take a drag, okay, and then I quit. I quit, and I and I swear I don't touch, I don't nothing, all right, until I go to take another drag. So yeah, I quit very often. I quit very often. No broken uh, manifold bolts yet, yay. BS Customs. I figured twenty first thrust. So I I don't like pickup trucks. I don't like. I you know what I like? I like mini. I like mini trucks. I had I had a slam desk 10 when I moved to Tennessee. I had a slam desk 10 and I loved that truck. And I, I regret getting rid of it. It's just I just didn't have any I didn't have any use for it for a while. So I, I, I sold it to somebody and then I saw it maybe like a year later and it was hammered. When I had it, it was nice, it was cool. But that I mean that's it, man. I like I like mini trucks. I don't like anything I don't like anything big. I don't like anything big. 
Tyler, Tyler McIntyre, Tony, how do you shut off your brain at night? I don't. I don't. I fall asleep making like these. Like I, what I do is I think myself to sleep. I overthink myself to sleep. Where it's just, I, it's just a state of exhaustion, and I pass out. Marcus Norman, I love my Toyota Mini truck. It's a Chevy 350 that runs on wood gas. Mine was a 4.3 with headers and a four barrel. And I said, I, I, I missed that truck. It was great. It was great. Ram 50 guy, cool. Ram 50 guy, cool. Yeah. Harley Hawk, Tony, do you have a favorite dirt bike you used to ride or you wanted? My, I had a KX250 that was like my favorite, but it was the most temperamental bike I ever owned. At the same time, I had to take, this. This is back when I lived in New York. Right before I moved, actually. In the year before I moved. I, I got heavy into dirt bikes. And I had a KX250, which was temperamental. I mean, really temperamental. No matter what. I went through the top end of that bike, I can't tell you how many times. And it was just temperamental. It just it, it didn't want to start. or it, it was always an issue with that bike. But it was my favorite. Uh, and at the same time, I had a KX125, which was the exact opposite. Nothing could stop that bike. Nothing. Nothing. And I had an RM125 that I bought for my kid that got stolen out from in front of my house. But... Yeah, I would say the, the KX250 was my favorite. That thing was so cool. It, it just You could get all crossed up. What I loved about that bike was, and I used to push it all the time, right? You can get completely crossed up, okay, where you're sideways with your elbow about to touch the ground, right, all crossed up on the steering, and all you had to do was just wing the gas, and the bike would just stand straight up and go straight. It was just the most amazing bike. I wish I could ride like that still. I can't I don't I can't ride like that anymore. Jonathan, have you ever owned a Harley Davidson motorbike? Dozens and dozens of them. I just got rid of one today. We just got rid of a 61 Sportster. Back at the house, I have a, a 2002 Sportster that I'm keeping and I got a a, a Buell over here that we're putting together. Kurt Zimmerman, did you ever ride or race motocross? I never had the talent for that. Those guys, those guys are real assets. I and I, I never had the talent for that. I was, I was, I was a hardcore woods rider for a while. Gabriel Demarco, Tony, how much torque can a seven twenty seven take? Lots, lots. Jason Fitch, whatever happened to Tony doesn't sell. Have you? No, I, I don't sell anything that I worked on, right? So in other words, like if I if I pick something up, and it's just you know like, like I, I sold I sold Kim that dart, a '66 dart. If I pick something up and I don't do anything except like maybe get it running or anything like that, I then yeah, it's it's gone. I don't care. But the cars that we actually build, no, none of those are for sale. John, what about fast motorbikes like Kawasaki Ninja? I had a couple of Ninjas. Um, I had a TL-1000. I had a, a, a 900RR. Uh, what else did I have? Um, I, had, I had a lot of various sport bikes in the, in the late 1990s, early 2000s. My brother James is saying, I'm no mechanic, as you know. I do know. Uh, but do believe what he's doing is not really productive. I've never had to remove my engine and bang on it. It's not a TV remote. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, i got to do something to get these uh, manifold bolts off. So. The boomer says you need a bigger hammer. That's not polite. You don't know how big his hammer is. Yeah. Joe Jackson, you had a 900 hour. It it was a good bike. It was I I I had I had both I had the both the 900R and a TL1000 both of them yellow. I had them both at the same time, and I preferred the TL1000 just because of the sound that thing would make and that instant torque. I mean it was just it was amazing, right? But but the 900RR was a bitching bike. You could stand on a bike 60 miles an hour, third gear, just 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 roll into the throttle, lean back a little bit, and she would just loft. I, that bike was amazing. 
What about a Ducati? I had a, uh, a Ducati Monster, I had a 750 Monster. Um, Jonathan, yeah, we just talked about dirt bikes. C. Roma bought a 66 Dodge car in a 361 four speed from Uncle Tony. Wanted to... I sold you a 66 car in it, 361 four speed. When was this? I haven't had, I haven't had a, I haven't had a four speed car in it in like 30 years, at least. Doug Don, you want a KC 1300. Yeah, I know. I, I, I would rather have a CBX. C Romo, that's the one. Which is the one? I guess it's the one you had 30 years ago. C Roma, do I know you, C Roma? Jonathan, you have a pit bike off road only. I bought a mini bike yeah, the day before yesterday. I bought a, uh, it, it's, it's, it's a little Coleman 100 that somebody swapped a 200 on, onto. It's a fun bike. Man, that thing is a blast. It is, right? Oh, my God. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Bill Whitaker, Tony, been watching you since your YouTube video started. Love the Miata Slant 6 build. Saved a solid rust-free MGB from the Crusher and currently doing an LA-318 swap on an RF. Oh, nice. That's cool. That is, that is cool. That is cool. That's a, that's a lot for that car to swallow, though, man. Holy Jesus. Dizzy Izzy got a tw 2022 Honda Monkey 125 five speed great little bike. Uh, Andy 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 Wood from Unity Motorsports Garage has one of those too. I like those. I bought a Super Cub instead. I I, I looked at the Monkey. I thought about the Monkey. It's it's cool. It's cool. I thought about a Grom. Right. I, I wanted a, I wanted a, 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 a mini moto. You know what I mean? And then I don't know. It's just something about the Super Cup. I just wanted something just to just to be mellow and just cruise easy with, you know. So I, I bought one of those, and I'm not disappointed. I I love that bike. Um, let's see. Tyler McIntyre rode a water cool 50 cc KTM. Man, for such a small bike, a guy could barely hang on. Right, I know the small. Like I remember when the '80s. So this, like, this is going back like to 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 the late 1990s, early 1980s. And I remember the eight, the, the, the old 80cc bikes. It was like you laughed at them; they were like a joke. Until like the like the back then, the latest generation came out. I guess around 2000, and they, they were serious little scooters, man. I can imagine what the technology today's all of the, all of the combined technology to, to to now. I can imagine what a 50cc would feel like. Um, let's see. I arrived. I arrived late. What kind of engine is he working on? It's a 360 Magnum that's going to go into his Dakota. He's going to build this thing, but first he's going to take it apart, like he's doing right now. Look how look at the look of concentration. That's incredible. Irritation is what it is. Irritation. C Roma, yes, my friend. We also did 446 pack swap on my 74 Dodge Dart Sport from Magazine. Charlie, Charlie Romano, what's happening, man? How we? I'm. How would I know your name, right? For, Charlie. Oh yeah, that I remember. I see now. I remember. I remember that 361 four speed car. That's right. I remember that. I thought I bought that from you. Didn't I buy that from you, or I sold it to you? Who the hell did I buy it from? I bought that car from you. I didn't sell it to you. Elaine Benger, morning, Tony, from your fans in Australia. Good morning, Elaine. How are you? Uh...
Charlie Romano, I, we, we had a lot of fun together, man. That was, that was like back. Charlie, do you remember my storage unit? The, the, not the storage unit, the, uh, that, that, the trailer I used to have with all the big blocks in it. I, when I met you, when I met you, I was 20. I had the gas station on Castleton and uh, 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 what the hell was the name? Of that? I don't even remember. It was it the gas station on the corner? And I had that trailer full of big blocks. So I used to go to the junkyards and buy the big blocks for twenty five dollars each. And I had a whole trailer stacked full of them. And you had a sixty eight car in it. You had a green sixty eight car in it. I think I sold you a three eighty three or a four forty that went in that thing. I think that's how we met, Charlie. Uh oh, Body Man Run is walking away. I think he gave up. Chat. No. I'm trying to again. Oh, dude, it's 46 minutes. I mean, this is your idea. I would have had that thing running again. In 46 minutes, I could I would have had it torn down, rebuilt, had all I would have, I would have I would have been able to save it, send it to the machine shop and get it back and order all new parts and have it back together again and in the truck and running and already broken again in 46.56 seconds, 47 minutes. No, bro, I don't want to steal your thunder. I don't want to steal your thunder. This is all you. This is all you. Yeah, yeah, thunder. See, Roma Highland Boulevard, you raced against my neighbor who I hated, and you became my friend. <laughs> who was your neighbor? I, I, I raced anything and anybody back then. It didn't matter. Just, I, 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 raced, I raced people pulling in and out of, out of the supermarket. I didn't care. Tony would be doing neutral drops by now. Yeah, damn straight I would. Well, boy, you weren't kidding about that. Harry Harris. I kind of missed it, but did the bloke who blew his wife's trans apart doing his skid get it fixed and what happened to the turbo slant? Uh, Kim fixes things and Buff Del Campo have the turbo slant and they're working on that and I, I, got, I don't know what the story is exactly with that. Um, as, as far as the, uh, the, the, the Chrysler last night, I talked to him about a week ago, just to let him know that I had all kinds of tranny parts and they still haven't pulled it apart yet. Forty Mamba, Uncle Tony, are you renaming Slag Hammer? I see the lettering is gone. No, I would never name that. I would never change the name of that car. Zero. The mod here is zero name that car Slag Hammer and it will forever be Slag Hammer. It just won't have the gay ass lettering on the side of it. Kim's is, Kim is saying we got distracted this winter, but the turbo slant is in the works. Okay. Little Red Garage says valve covers are off. Let's look inside. I mean, it's, to have 165,000 miles on it, it, it. I can't really move this camera, but can you maybe move the, the work closer to? Sure. Yeah. We only have one valve cover off. Give me a few minutes. What are you doing with all of this transmission bolted to it still? Well, that's got to come off. Right that is now, a lot of transmission. Right, right now, it won't turn. If you want to, won't much, turn over to get the uh, flex but, plate bolts off. Wait, don't, don't take it off your off your off your diaper. Diaper. Yeah. Well, you see what you need to see now? Um, if I turn this a little bit. Well, careful, it might die. Okay, how's that? That that looks like it might be. Can you scoot it this way just in here? Yeah. Here, grab this, grab this wheel and just pull it, pull it towards you me. Should turn to make me do work. Yes. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, Daniel Solez, one of my customers, has a 413 he wants to sell. Tell me, do you know if anybody would like it? Not offhand, man. Not offhand. Don't look bad. It's, it looks better, right? Can, can you raise it up a little bit? Raise it up just a little bit. Greasy Garage sent the Canadian dollar forty nine. Thank you, man. We can we can spend some maple leaves, right? Oh yeah. Forty mile Uncle Tony, are you renaming your slag hammer? No, I'm not renaming it. I just took the letter. That's good. That's good. That's that's plenty high. Okay. Now look look how look how prominent you are now. This is that's that's what we needed. Okay. Um no, I told you. Zero, our mod, right here. He's on here right now. Name that car, and I'm never going to change the name of that car. It, it, will, it will forever be Slaghammer. Uh, John and Jackson, UTG, I know what it's like to blow up a 904. Congratulations. Um, then I had a built, a, then I had a built a A999. Nice. Well, now you can now you can blow up all those extra numbers too. <laughs> um. Oh fuck me! Oh shit! Oh, and we moved it off your diaper. Yeah. Oh, oh, you guys, you got to see this. It looks like it looks like somebody blasted it with a shotgun. It's bleeding all over the place. Hey, that's the training floor. They need to soak my my clutch discs in. I mean, it worked out, right? Yeah. Well, look, I've got pig mad even. Oh jeez! I knew I was making a mess. Isn't it ironic though? After I asked you to move it, yeah, closer yeah. to the camera. Yeah, it sure is. It sure is. <sighs> what I really need is for this thing to turn. Charlie, Charlie's saying Tony had the '68 Roadrunner against my neighbor driving his dad's '69 Mustang fastback with a big block. I don't think I was ever back in those days, man. I don't think I was ever beaten by a Ford product ever, ever. Ha, <sighs> ah, Ari, Tony, the last episode of After the Tony turns into a political virtue signaling extravaganza. Any advice on preventing such chicanery? Um, yeah. you know what, man? You just just let them yap it out. Just let, I, you know, just let them yap it out. They're gonna, the stupid are gonna sound stupider. You know what I mean? And you, don't worry about it. Stay above the fray. Stay above the fray, man. Uh, Nick McMinn, much, much love, Tony, much, much love to you too, brother. Thank you. <laughs> What's so funny? My sister messaged me because her and uh, my brother-in-law are watching. Where did you find this person? Who? You. Me? What's the matter with me? I'm, I don't know. I'm a nice guy. You're, you're, you're eccentric. Say, listen, Anna, we can't all be uppity like you. Anna, instead of sitting home and criticizing, why don't you come here? You know where the place is. He'll text you the address. Why don't you come here and 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 we'll settle it. We'll settle it face to face. Yeah. Hey, you know what, Cody? Cody probably will come hang out. Cody, come hang out. Um. Charles Meadows, I have been having issues with my 400 small block Chevy and my 85 K10. And ran across your channel, and I have ordered new timing chain for it. You seem intelligent about engines. I only seem that way. I, I fake it, man. I fake it. You'd be surprised. I need. To, I I go. I go on Google. I Google whatever engine it is that we're going to talk about. I hit the. You know, I find the Wikipedia about it, and I memorize that stuff. And sometimes I draw pictures of it so I can remember because I don't really write that well. So 
Sometimes I'll just draw a picture of it, and then I come on here and I do a video, and God damn it, it looks like I know what I'm talking about. It's crazy. It's the craziest thing. But trust me, I'm faking all of that. I actually, I, I work third shift at a Waffle House. A lot of people don't realize that. You know, I, I make these claims about, oh, I, I'm a YouTuber. I'm not really a YouTuber. I, I, I play a YouTuber. I really, I make waffles um, and, and work the grill. Scattered, covered, chunked. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I know I got all the lingo down, but, but I'm, a, I'm a good fooler. This engine's going to be scattered, smothered, covered, and chunked. Little Red Garage, yeah, Ron needs some help. This is going to be a three-hour tear down. It might be. I got all night. It might be. It's, we're, we're one hour in. He's got a valve cover off. <laughs> we're doing great. Hey, listen, you're, you're entertained. You're, inter, you're entertained, or you wouldn't be interacting. Third shift at Waffle House. This guy knows how to fight. Only when I'm drunk, bro. <laughs> Only when I'm drunk. I'm telling you, right? <laughs> I, I, I down the Mad Dog 2020. If I can't find the Mad Dog 2020, I go with Ripple. You know, it doesn't really matter to me as long as it's cheap and I get it in quantity. And then, yeah, yeah, I roll with the bust of them. And then I, I, I shake it off and I, I, come in, I come in here and I do YouTube videos. Jason Fish, Tony is the only Waffle House cook without a blunt behind his ear. Bro, I gave up on that stuff a long time ago. I've been mainlining, you know, horse for, for years now. You know, it's like, oh. right. I was like, you know what? I, I, enough of the smoke and weed, right? You know, that's not going to do it anymore. So, you know, heroin. It's all about the heroin. This would be going better if you gave me some training. Well, no, it's it, this is the whole. This is your training. Ah, uh, yeah. Let me know when you can snatch this pebble out of my hand. All right. Soon. I need a brush. Swirl to try this all in here. And you know, even after all that, like squirrels have ruined multiple parts out there. They don't shoot them. Like I don't understand. The little red garage. Is Ron going to keep and run the keg intake? Yes, I'm going to put in volume reducing plates. Volume reducing plates. That sounds something I need to Wikipedia. Bald rusty bastard, give your helper some Columbia. Give, give your helper some Colombian nose candy so he can strip that engine faster. <laughs> Could you see Ron? <laughs> I don't need no tools. <laughs> No, we met like 15 years ago uh, swapping car parts. Who are you talking to? Anna. Oh, Anna. She's still like, no, legitimately, like, how did you meet Tony? Do you do you remember? Do you remember? I don't remember action? anything, bro. I don't remember so, anything. This was back when me and dad still had plans for like this. Uh, you bought a couple cars off us. But before that, even, I had a yellow 72 Dart. And the trunk lid was rotted out. So I met you over on Old Fort, and we went over to the storage unit, and I bought a trunk lid from you. Okay. And then since then, it's been like we just keep Cross or fans. orbiting back into each Cross other's uh, solar systems. You know what I mean? Mid-South Mopars, I, I did a whole bunch of work on the Dakota in, in front of the garage because there wasn't room to just let it, leave it sitting until... I could get around to it, but he was nice enough to let me park out front, and then me and my son put a whole bunch of work into that truck. A ton. You can't tell by looking at it because it was all underneath. Uh, horth, 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 wow, wow, horth, horth, wow, how worth, wow, 
Tony, were you the cook that got in the famous fight in the Randy Savage with Randy Savage at the Waffle House? No, I'm the one that got arrested for rifling through the, the customers' uh, glove compartments. I wait until they get their food, then I sneak around a back door, and then go. I would go through their their glove compartments and steal, you know, whatever things I could sell to buy my heroin. <laughs> Nobody does heroin anymore. We all are on ketamine now. I want you to take a look at this. Look at these. What do you think of this? Those are bolts. Those are nice. I wish I had. I don't like think they're OEM. Is why I was showing them to you. Oh. I wish I had some. Shut hey, up. That you. It's creeping. Yeah. It right. really looks like somebody took a shotgun to the chest there on the on the uh, floor. I, I had a friend way back. He said, every time you work on a motor, it looks like somebody got murdered. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, zero. Like, this is why I'm a body man. That's how I make money. Too busy eating waffles to watch your own shit. You're full. That's what I told the cops. That's what I told the cops. I was, I was like, you know, they, they had me against the car right, the whole bit, right? And I was like, well, you know, they shouldn't have been so focused on their waffles. And, and then this, none of this would have happened. It's their fault. I know. I know. And then he asked me if I had any, any extra horse, you know. <laughs> the cops, they, yeah. they like it too. Cops, yeah, yeah. They, they, they like their dope. They like their dope. Charlie, Randy Savage was your friend from Staten Island. I know famous people. Didn't he die from a heart attack or something? Yeah, he did. A young guy. He was he was a young guy when he died. I mean, young age. He's probably your age. Glenn Nickerson. So, if a body guy is tearing down the motor, does that mean UT is going to do body work? Not a chance. Uh, no. Hey, they've all seen the. the You've charger seen my over body there. work. They've all seen the charger too. Hide the extension cords. Jay Mankey, well, thank you so much. That's so generous. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. CCE, thank you. I appreciate that also. Uh, I've recently refreshed the standard bore 440 with our 2,000 miles. It overheated when idling in my driveway when the electric fan failed. How robust is the 440? What kind of damage should I expect? I don't think you're going to have any. I mean, honestly, I don't think you have any problem. Um, I mean, fire it up. I. I yeah. You know, you don't know until you. See, Roma used to shop at Acme with Miss Elizabeth. I remember she was a fox. I remember that. I never watched wrestling, but my kids, they loved that stuff back in the day. It was always on, always wrestling, always wrestling. And I took them to a couple of matches, too. Who was the guy, uh, uh, the big blonde guy? What was his name? He's, he's into Mopars. He's a Mopar guy. Is that um, Ric Flair? No, 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 no. Famous, famous, famous. He was like one of household names. I mean, Ric Flair is pretty damn famous. No, this guy was like it. Um, I could picture him in my mind, and I can't I can't think of his name. Oh. Do you know, you know who I'm talking about? Very famous wrestler. Gee, huge, huge guy, and he's into Mopars. Hulk Hogan? Hulk Hogan. Hulk oh. Hogan. That's it. Hulk Hogan. I, I don't know. I don't know why I couldn't think of that name. It was like stuck there right at the tip of my tongue. Little Red Garage. Is he going to run a carb on the keg intake? No. No, he's just going to hit it with the, the big orange hammer. I wish I had known because I would have brought all my plastic tools too. One-eyed cat. Bill Goldberg is into more cars as well. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I forgot about him. Yeah, they all got to be like very famous, very wealthy people. And I'm sitting here uh, with a guy hitting an engine with an orange plastic hammer in my background. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> What do we got here? Charlie Romano. That's, what a, you're, you're, bro, you're blasting the past, Charlie. We had a lot of good, we had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. 
There we go. Charlie, were you there when we did the hamster dregs? Oh, the intake is off. Yep. Nice. Nice. It's coming, guys. Look at it. It's coming apart. Thumper, Tony is living his dream. Plastic cameras and greasy engines. That's right. What's plastic cameras? How does it smell? It smells a little burnt. Burnt and old. Average. It smells about average. Average? It smells about average. I got to tell you. I think average. Um... Let's see. So, Charlie, were you there when we did the hamster dregs? Asian 43. One hour, six minutes, and 44 seconds. And it's still not torn apart, rebuilt, and put back together again. Dude, look what I found. Look at this. All I got, look at this. Eagle eye. Look. Oh my oh. God. Washer. Right? You need That's why you need me. I find things like that. I'm going to put it back. Let's see if he finds it. Charlie, yeah, you were in the magazine? Charlie, I remember I remember one time I pissed you off. Like like you you were perturbed. I remember you were perturbed. You you had you had a it was a duster it was like a big block duster, right? I it was a red big block duster if I am if I remember right okay, and you and Neil Van Opry were at the track you were making laps with it. This, this was like one of those Wednesday night things, and you guys were making laps with it, and like whatever it was you couldn't you couldn't get it past just that that barrier right whatever it was I just let me take a crack at it. And I got in the car and I outran both of you two. And I remember, I remember like both of you were like, Rrr. but I cheated that night and I, and I never, I never told you about it. I, I never told you what I did. Look at this gooey head bolt. No, oh my God. Yeah. Don't worry about your drive shaft. I, I don't know. I, So Charlie, I cheated that night. Okay, like I don't, I don't, I don't remember what the numbers were. I don't remember what the numbers were, right? But I cheated. I staged the car sideways. I did the burnout, right? I did the burnout, and as I was as I was coming into the beams, I swung all the way to the one side of the lane, and then came back to the center of the lane. But I did it so that like just the front tire, the, like like the car was sideways. I staged the car sideways. So I just tickled on the light with the front wheel. So like, like I beat you by like a tenth. But that was how I did it. I staged your car sideways. I could tell you this 40 years later. Oh, so Anna has admitted you're funny. Funny how? Funny haha -ha or funny peculiar, uh -huh. Anna? Uh -huh. Funny haha? -ha? Yeah. She wouldn't say if you were funny peculiar. Yeah, I don't know about that. She seems like a pretty cold and, and calculating demon woman to uh -huh. me. She's good people. Uh, All right, I got to start getting this shit separated. Is it really cheating if you win? I cheat any way I can. 
If you get into a competition with me, whatever it is, you guarantee I am cheating. That that there's no I, I I make no bones about it. If we're competing in any arena, whatever it happens to be, I will find a way to cheat. Marcus Norman, before the heads come off, get it off the sling. Yeah. Yeah. No, I caught that. Charlie, dodge that sport, and we were like, what the fuck? Yeah, I know. Right? I remember, I remember the look on your faces because I drove back into the pits and I stuck the time slip out, and both of you guys were like, <laughs> I, just, I just staged your car sideways, bro. Benjamin C. Even a monopoly? Yeah, bro. I, I hide money. I, I hide money. I, I've always got three hotels in my pocket anytime I start a game of monopoly. Oh, you got to go to the bathroom. Well, you got to go to the bathroom. This is going to be the most boring, like lowest views live you've ever done. We've got no, well, I mean, there's 316 people watching, not even watching you because you're off way off to the side there. But there's, there's 316 people and Anna. And Anna. So, yeah. yeah. Well, that means that Cody and Dylan are also watching. Who's Cody and Dylan? Cody's her husband and Dylan's their kid. Ah, is Dylan, I hope Dylan turned out okay. She's good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. excellent, excellent. Dude, we watched paint dry. We we did a we did a live once, right? We built a Hemi in here uh -huh. or a GTX, and we painted the motor and left it up on the stand, and then I, I put the camera on it and left it sit overnight, and it was it was a paint drying special, the paint drying live. Oh. So for, for like twelve hours, people oh sat God. there and watched. It was like I swear to God, there were like fifty something people that stayed on the whole night Continuous. and watched yeah and watched the paint dry on the motor. That's brilliant. You're a marketing genius, really, is what it comes down to. Well, on this one, the, it, it's on the description. It says, oh, Whoops. it says, will he succeed or will he die? <laughs> looks like I'm going to die is what it looks like. Like I'm gonna die. Uh, uh, oh, I think the throw. Oh, there it goes. Ah, death. Yeah, well, I, I, it, it could be. It could be. You know, humorous. Marcus Norman, you fell asleep that night watching paint dry and your phone died. But you remember it. Like, this is like, almost two years ago. But yet, here you are remembering standing in the night watching paint dry on a 426 Emmy. Do you think he's going to remember to take the slings off before he unbolts the heads? Yeah, now. I did. I took a few headphones out, and then I was like, wait a second. Danny Boyd says, I got up in the middle of the night to piss and check the computer and stayed up till like five or six. <laughs> Grumpy, I was one of the paint watchers, but I didn't make the distance and fell asleep. It was, it was, like, it was like an endurance thing, right? Who can watch the paint dry the longest? And in the end, everybody loses. Okay, uh, oh geez, GTI Warriors. Should I say it out loud? Should I say it? Should I read that out loud? G should I, should I GTI Warrior? Should I should I form Ron or just or just keep it to myself? I don't know if I'm gonna say it or not. Yeah. Up to me. 
Meow. I don't know. I don't know. Like one side of me says. All right, I'll say it. A center of gravity is important. <laughs> he said, uh, Jitai Warrior says, he's about to pull the trans and nosedive the motor. I'm only pulling the trans for case off. I, it's uh, still going to nosedive the motor. I don't think it'll be that bad. All right, he's going to pull the transfer case off. Let's see if he goes. I'm trying, I got to do something because the damn thing won't spin over. So I can't unbolt the flex plate. The motor seized? No. I mean, I don't think. I don't know why it would be seized. Why won't it turn over? I don't know. What the hell is this? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. What the hell is what? Never mind. It, it was it was uh the paint is flaking off, and it looks like it looks like the casting was all like crazy. Oh okay, yeah. Well, hey, there's good news. I can I can get the flex plate off. I just I just didn't try hard enough. I just didn't try hard enough. I didn't DD speed shop is DD speed shop in here? I didn't have any guidance from the ancient Mopar wisdom committee over here. Oh, look at you go. Oh, oh, you're approved. You know, if you took the spark plugs out. Shut up. Oh, oh. Here we go. Here we pirouette. 318 Magnum saying the balancer is still on. We're in for an eight hour day. We're here for as long as it takes. I don't even know how far he's going to go with this. Are the pistons and everything coming out? I don't know, man. I, I thought it might go faster than this, but obviously I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So that's all right. That's all right. It, uh, I mean, we got a little. I at least I gotta at least separate them and and get the heads off, right? I gotta get these things separated, get it on the stand. I think you, you gotta you gotta go all the way, man. All the, the way. Rods out. All the way. Come on, hustle up, hustle up. You could do this. I'm tired. Ow. Gravity is a cruel mistress. That's right, Jeff. It is. She can be seduced. Eric Uncaffer is saying, Good Lord, go bang out a dance. <laughs> it gets old. I want to do something different sometimes. Paul Denick, what happened to the paint dry hemi? Did it get fixed or is it just for parts? No, it's it's in the it's in the car. There's a whole live. If you if you go watch the uh, if you go to if you go to our playlists, there's a playlist Hemi GTX. So there's everything from the from the time the car came in. We tore it down. We put it back together again, and he drove it out of here. So there's, there's a whole and the paint drying video was in there also. So the, it it's all it's all there. It's like, good God, there's probably 15 hours of video on that. <laughs> Bold Rusty Bastard saying he's getting tired. Time to switch from Colombian nose candy to the glass barbecue. <laughs> the glass barbecue. Oh, I man. have never heard that, but that is my new favorite thing. I stopped smoking crack last week. I, I don't know more of that stuff. Tony, you're going to paint the charger. Yeah, we're going to go like a satin, a satin black on that. Little Red Garage says, tell Ron I've been a paint tech for like 26 years and enjoy tinkering on engines too. Thank you. Thank you. Well, clearly he enjoys tinkering. All right. All the Shake and bake. bolts are out. The converter bolts are out. The converter bolts are out. I gotta make some room, and we're gonna make something happen. <coughs> that transfer case is just hanging on there, right? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna make a mess, bro. Huh? This is gonna be this is gonna be messy. What are you talking about? I don't know. It looks it looks really precarious. I mean, listen. Don't you have a, a shirt that says this is sketchy, even by my standards? Yes. Yes. What what is the reason for having that shirt if we're not going to do sketchy shit? No. No.
but to make you feel better, like I'm going to pull it over here. We're not trying to make a mess on the floor anymore. Shopcat Industries. Uh, next week, we watch Tony try to paint the car. I did. I painted two cars on this channel. Yeah, I painted. See, Tony, Tony's way ahead of me. <coughs> He's painted all kinds of shit. Oh, well, not really. I, I painted three cars. I painted my 70s, my, oh, four cars. I painted my blue 68 Roadrunner, which came out. Okay. I painted my white 73 Roadrunner, which needs to be redone completely. I painted my the Swinger, one. the orange Swinger, and I painted the green Duster. So I painted four cars. And, and the Duster looks, I mean, it looks okay. It not looks, really. It, it needs to be redone. It looks good on camera. Well, that's all that counts. We're going to bring it back to the diaper, guys. I'm sorry. Please move the camera back so we can enjoy the entire shot. There's only so much I can do with this setup here. The camera is perched on top of the, the laptop. Jeff, the white zone is for loading and unloading only. That's the central scrutinizer, man. This is... The central scrutinizer. Isn't that a line of uh, Total Recall? No, Joe's Garage. Joe's Garage. Frank Zappa. I don't think in Total Recall somebody says the white zone is for loading and unloading only. They, they, well, they ripped it off from Zappa then. Well, I mean, uh, hey, I'm not going to argue with that. Is anyone bleeding yet? No. 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 Oddly enough. Somehow. But it, it sure looks like it. If you look at the floor here. Somehow. No. UB's Garage. Hey, guys. Great Saturday project. It looks like it's going to go Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know. I guess the guys from the guys from Jets Pizza haven't been watching our live. No, seriously, we had one night we were doing a live here, and somebody from Jets Pizza was watching the live, and they decided to send us all kinds of pizzas. Parker Russell, what is this going in? What is it out of and going into? Looks like it's, the transmission is not staying on here. It's gonna it's gonna be two wheel drive and it's gonna go into his Dakota. Yeah, came out of a '97 Ram that my dad had owned since it was new in '97, and it just got fell uh, fell victim to a series of unfortunate events involving squirrels and trees, and uh, and it's gonna find new life in, in my little Dakota. Mike Brunello, Tony, what is the best cheap ratchet you could think of besides Craftsman? Bro, hit estate sales. It don't matter. You, you get a whole bucket of ratchets for like five bucks. So, yeah, just, just go through them, man. Yeah, if you have to have American made, there's nothing modern. Hey, Dakota's, Dakota's here. Dakota's timeout. Dodge done a great job naming that truck. Didn't they? getting cold. Sopra, why does everything you do have to consist of a complete autopsy? I, I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm fascinated with death. Right Little Red Garage, the transfer case is about to fall off. Uh, it's, it's, it's just garbage. The studs, the studs are still in there. It's the studs just garbage. We haven't thrown away yet. You know. <laughs> Cave Dave says, "I'm near Memphis. I can probably bring you pizza before you get the heads off." Hey. Hey, he's going as fast as he can. It, 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 give him encouragement. Give him encouragement. But yeah, you're probably right. I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong. Looks like he's got it in a good spot now. Can, can you see what? Nice. 
the guys at Waffle House are going to be impressed by that. So long as they're not too deep into the glass barbecue. No, that's not the right size. Parker Russell, trying to stop my motor for the first time on the stand. How do we get more courage when trying to run it with open headers? Dude! Put in earplugs. Look for the video of the guy that fires his engine on the stand. It's hanging, on, hanging from the motor waist. Um, oh, what the hell's his name? He's, he's like an older black guy. He's like probably at my age or a little bit older. And he's got the motor just hanging off, off the engine hoist. And he's running the thing on there. He's, he's whamming the throttle on it, right? Just, just, just send it. Just send it. Stand off to the side of it. You know what I'm saying? But, but just send it. Don't worry about it. New spin on jack stands. No, that, that's a unique. Uh, I've never seen jack stands quite that way before. Safety is a rumor. Yeah, and it's a bad rumor. <laughs> Safety third. The code, I saw a video of a fellow that had an engine on a hoist, kind of like that, and he was running it like a bull as he was revving up on it. <laughs> that sounds fun. You know, the, the thing about messing with cars, right, is that you can have a lot, if you don't get killed, you can have a lot of fun. You know what I mean? You could just, just, just take it over the top, right? But, it, and if you don't get snuffed doing it, it's a lot of fun. Danny Boy, did he get the converter bolts? I think he did. Did he? Yes. yes. Oh, look at him go. Oh, he's so strong. Jeez, that's a heavy looking unit. It was, is, will be. What the fuck? Let go. Zero. Miss my iron work at safety meetings. Okay, no one dies today. Don't do that shit me today. All right, go. Kevin L, I found a 70 duster with a floor shift manual car painted in violet. Is there any significance to the colors? Could you have a Sun 6 duster in any color? Yeah, 1970, 71, any color. Didn't matter what, what engine was in it. We're coming up on an hour and a half, and he's almost got the transmission off. Oh. He's getting there. He's getting there. There's the converter. Okay. He's longer strap. I have two of them. Oh. There should be another one just like that. Someplace. Where? Don't tell me you lost the other one. Where did you, where'd you find that one? It was on there. I've never oh, God had God. any reason to use these. It was on there. I don't know where the other one ever was. Uh, I stole those from Kiwi. Oh, shit. Yeah. Maybe he took it back. Possibly. All right, so is that what you're going to work now? Or are you going to put it on the stand? Huh? You're going to put it on the stand? Yeah, I'm going to put it on the stand. Okay, he's going to put it on the stand now. I would just, you know, like to be able to put a strap on it and lift it with the hoist. Fubar, Fubar, thank you for putting the link to our merch. So the amazing Fubar uh, has just put a link to Uncle Tony's Garage merch where we have these shirts and these hats are in that. We got the hats in stock now um, and other stuff. We have other things and I really don't know what's there or how much it costs because that's all Uncle Kathy. 
and I, I just, I know nothing. But, but I do know that Kubar put the link to it all. Thank you, Kubar. I gave Uncle Kathy a couple of T-shirt ideas. Nice. So we might be able to, uh, we might be able to see those in the future. Well, they were based on your uh, your Sunday Night Live, like a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago. Oh yeah. Yeah. What were they? Mission Creep Happens. Mission Creep does happen. That's a good one. And Mission Creep Happens and uh, Hammers to Hell. Okay. That was that was how you described your style of working on stuff. Hammers to Hell. Buff Del Campo. Oh my God. It's it's it run. It's legendary. Literally Buff what? Del Campo. He's here late. Didn't know you were having a live. I didn't know we were having a live either. To tell you the truth. I mean, here we are. It's just. I looked. I, 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 I turned around this way and I realized there was a camera on. And I was like, okay. And so here we are. Well, I guess we got to do this thing now, right? Which thing? The live. You turned around and saw the camera. Keep it's all the dope, man. It's all the dope. It's all the dope. All the dope. It's all the age. You have to get this done before I got to be at the Waffle House tonight. My shift starts at, at 8. This is extremely not going to work. How do you get this stupid transmission out of the way? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh my God. Like an episode of CSI in here. Look at all the blood. Buff Del Campo, what job do I have at Waffle House? I work third shift there. You know that. Scattered, covered, chunked. You know? Smothered. Would you like some more orange juice? You see? I, I, I got it all. Would you like some more orange juice? Yeah. Uh oh, that sounded okay. That sounded painful for a second. Uh, yeah. uh, what to do with this big heavy bastard? Dakota's time out. I've never ate at Waffle House. Dude, come by my store tomorrow. Tomorrow night, come by. I'll make you a waffle and I'll make you one of the egg things. You know what I mean? One of the egg things. Yeah. Tell them, tell them you want an egg and a hash brown. glass barbecue. Yeah, and hash browns and the, and the glass barbecue. I'll hook you up. I wonder if Anna and Cody and, and Dylan are still watching. Or if they've oh, given up. I don't know. Scattered, smothered, and covered, and chunked. Don't forget chunked. Are you still watching? Boomer, you think he needs some help? He doesn't need help. He's got it. This is he's got it covered. I don't need that kind of help that Tony can give me. Right. And I don't know, definitely not. Oh my Grits or hash browns. Bro, I I do grit browns. <laughs> I do grit browns. Trust me, it's good. It's very good. You, you the grit browns and you put some of the stuff on it. That's awesome. You 
can't leave off the stuff. No, you got to have the stuff. Chris, just join. What kind of engine is he tearing down? It is a 360 Magnum. Oh, 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 it's yep. bleeding. Yep, 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 yep. You spent so much time making that corner nice. I did. I mean, I knew this is how it was going to end up. I'm afraid to move the camera because every time I move the camera, it, it cuts out. But you, you, got, you should see what the floor looks like here. It looks bad. It looks bad, real bad. Oh, oh, we gotta stem the tide. There's a blood wave. Yeah, that's a lot. You know, you're kind of supposed to drain those things before yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Even if it's not. Paul Cox, he's just logging in. How's it going? How is it going? Well, I mean, I'm not bleeding. No. I'm very slow. But I'm not bleeding. But it's Platinum Lawn Services today. Wish Platinum Lawn Services a happy birthday. What? Platinum Lawn Service. It's what? their 38th birthday today. That's not a person. Oh, well, sorry then. Wait, okay. Just tell them to, uh, what's your real name, Platinum Lawn Service? Well, there's a person behind Platinum and, Lawn and, Services. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what we Happy birthday, person behind Platinum Lawn Service. That's it's almost as interesting as, uh, what was sadistic balls or something? Yeah, sadistic snake balls or, or something like that. Python balls, ball pythons. Yahoo. Oh, man. That's what is slippery. Martin and, and Zolta, and, let me pronounce the name, and Zaldua. Martin and Zaldua. It's too bad Ron doesn't have a friend that's a professional who could show him how to do things. I know. I was thinking that, too. I was like, this poor guy, he doesn't have anybody to actually help him along. Instead, he's got just people who are, like, taunting him as he's doing the best as he can. Oh, Platinum Loan Services' name is Kellen. Kellen, happy birthday, Kellen. Happy birthday, Kellen. That's an unusual name. Is it Kellen Heller? It's Kellen, K-E-L-L-E-N. I know, I'm asking, is the last name Heller? Kellen Heller? Ah, uh, don't make fun of, oh. Okay. I don't mean to make fun, it'd just be a happy coincidence. Paul Denick, he looks like he could use a hand or two. <laughs> We're hip waiters. Yeah, uh, there's going to be a wave of fluid coming this way. Any, any second now? No, that's uh, dimmed in. It's just done. Where's this other, like, mythological strap that you allegedly have? I, I don't know. Caleb Parker, Tony's a true boomer. Sitting back, smoking cigarettes while the younger busts his knuckle. Wow. Mark, man. They got my number. They know. They know how to get to you. It's an atmospheric river of ATF. <laughs> hey, listen. It's not as dirty as Ohio right now, so we don't need to worry. Yeah, we're not quite as bad as Ohio at the moment. Swaprat says when Ron is not doing this, he makes animal shapes out of cloth napkins. Do you do re do you really do that? I don't know what he, what? he says when you're when you're not doing this, you make animal shapes out of cloth napkins. Yeah, yeah. I'm not confident enough for that. Hey, you know something I did one time? What's that? 
You have to wait till you come back here. They won't be able to hear you. Uh, look in the toolbox on the record. Yeah, but you, you, you did a uh, little video with Slinger, right, Richard Slinger? Oh, sure, yeah. You, you used a white and red car. Yeah. I did that. Oh, you did that car? I did it. Uh, 90% of the white and red car. That car is gorgeous. The uh, Mercury, Cyclone, Spoiler, yeah. Tune, GT. Who's the guy? Kale, not Kale. Uh, or was it Kale Yarbrough? Yarbrough. Kale Yarbrough Special Edition, yeah. <laughs> John Carl Willie. I'm not particularly proud of it. Uh, there's too there's too much filler in it. Uh, it couldn't be helped, but it it's nice, you know. It's pretty nice. Wait, I have to say that better. John Carl Willie! What's happening, man? Dan Gurney had one too, yep. Tony, sand my super B for some content. I don't need content that badly. Squirrel brain meth monster. It was in there the whole time. Charles Manson, what kind of build is he going for with that Magnum? So this is going to be really mild. It's going to be really mild. Um, I, I told somebody earlier, I'm doing volume reduction plates on the intake. Uh, some people say they're worthless. I, I disagree. It's not a super high performance mod but it'll help. Um, I've got a cam. What did I tell you the specs on that cam were? Small. Yeah, it's like 269, 279 at six thousandths and like 220, 230 at 50. I mean, by especially by Tony's standard, it's small. It's very small. It's very, it's a lot bigger than this Magnum cam though. These can't, the Magnum cams, they're like, they're pathetic. Brian Joss, when is UTG coming down under? I sent bad Chad. I sent bad Chad. He was supposed to be an ambassador for UTG, but he completely forgot to mention us. So, yeah, I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> okay. I do appreciate your format today. It's given me insensitive to have a cold corona. When did come on? Hey, what are you talking about? It's me incentive to have a cold Corona too. Come on, James. You're you're my brother. You you're drinking like that. Come on. What happened to Spot and Optimator? All the, the the oatmeal stouts and the double chocolate stouts and stuff. Come on. You can't always like drink a loaf of bread, Tony. You know. If if I can't if it's if I can't chew it, it's not a beer. Oh my god. I'll bring you. I'll bring you some of my favorite IPAs sometimes. I seen on an episode where a fan asked Chad about you last week. Said Chad said, "Yeah, I know him. I sent him down there. I sent him down there. <laughs> yeah, so I know him." I, I, I thought, I thought hey, hey, Jolene, listen, I'm going to send you and Chad down there. She runs the show. I says, you know, you're our ambassador. You're going to like, you know, to, to the whole down, up, upside down world down there. You're going to go down there. And, like, and she's like, yeah, 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 you got it. And nope, nope, never heard a word from them. They, they never mentioned us. Uh, Campo, Tony, do you remember EKU28? Uh, no, I don't. What the, what the hell is EKU28? Oh yeah, but back to the build question. So the the modified intake manifold, the tiny cam. Uh, I'm gonna get some off the shelf headers. Uh, I might uh, I might need somebody to tune it. I'm not looking. If I can avoid it, I'm not even gonna bore the cylinders. Well, we'll find out in a few minutes. I think. What's that? We'll find out like hopefully before the end of the night. <laughs> Hopefully before our audience all dies of boredom. Oh, they've all, all the originals are gone. They're, <laughs> they've been replaced by all of these these new ones. 
Little Red Garage, we need a tech breakdown on the keg intake. I don't know anything about them. The only thing I the only thing I know about them, do you remember the telefunken U47? Of course they do. What who's asking what about what? Ah, I mean you're the girl from the back of the bus. Uh let's see. Is so so yeah, the, that kegger intake, the only thing I know about them is that I had one sitting this is like years ago. And I had one sitting on, on, a, on a floor, and I said, huh, that ball pattern looks familiar. And I took a, uh, a, a, one, of the, one of the Holly carburetors, the ones that they used on the, um, on the, the 360 two barrels, the 3D3 and the 400 two barrels, the, the one you know what I'm talking about. And I put that on top of it, and the ball pattern is the same. So you could actually take one of those big 500 CFM two barrels that they put on the Chrysler 361s or 360s, 3D3s and 400s and bolt it to that keg intake. And I often wondered how that would run, but I haven't had a chance to, to play around with that. I'll answer that. It, it probably run terribly. Have you seen the inside of one of these? I'll take the plenum plate off. You want to see the inside? Well, not right now. Okay. Well, I mean, you said you, we got to get it all done. So. Well, yeah, we don't take the, the, the intake off. Or, or a part, I should say. Yeah. Are you taking the heads off? You want it or not? But I thought you were going to match it to the engine stand and then roll it over here. Well, yeah, I guess I could do that, huh? Well, it's got to get done eventually. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Jeez. Oh, Hand me down thing here. See how this works. If it's not a big block, scrap it. Nah, small blocks are great. EFI or carb on the magnet. He's going with EFI. Uh, Wayne, Hughes has an upgraded gasket to deal with that keg plenum issue. Yeah, I, I'm just going to weld it up. You're going to weld it up? Yeah. Cut Hughes right out of the deal. I thought it was plastic. What's that, the intake? Yeah. No, it's one with cat. All right. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, the bottom of it. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but the bottom from the factory, the, the plenum plate they come with, it's like real thin steel. And the gasket, it's just, it's like guaranteed failure before $100,000. Nice. So yeah, once I mod it, I'll weld it up. Now the question is, do I have any bolts that will go into this thing to get it on the stand? Oh, that's a problem. Now, that's a problem. You were supposed to wind all of that stuff up ahead of time. Yeah, I was, yeah. But, you know, I didn't. Well, and in that case, you know what? You're better off just, just yap it apart here on the stand, on the on the hoist. hoist. Yeah. Okay. We really need some serious like kitty litter. Okay. John Dow, small block Mopars are the legacy of the original Hemi. Yes, they are. <coughs> the small block Mopar is actually the DeSoto Hemi. The the A engine, the the, the polyhead A engine that was in the Plymouth was actually the unborn DeSoto Poly. Uh, MW, hey Tony, would you V8 swap the Jeep? Not in a million years. I love that inline six. Those things are as durable as a slam. Uh, Abel D, Uncle Tony, if you were running the Baja 1000, would you go Holly Sniper EFI or the old school simple carbs? Would carbs suffer power? Dude, they ran that race for eons with carburetors and they did just fine. Danny Boyd, when's the 4.0 going back together? I have all the parts. Um, I'm thinking early next week. I got to put that transmission back together again. Just to clear that bench. Uh, <laughs> oh, geez. Okay, it's wet here. It's. This is a hazard we've got going on here. Uh, uh, well, 
it was nice meeting all of you, um, but I don't think I'm going to be invited back. No, Magnum Corner is 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 all is all you. Getting bulldozed. Kayla Parker, in your teardown video, you were against using impacts to tear motors down. Is this just Ron's way of doing it, or is this different somehow? No, I don't use impacts to tear engines down, I, I, or, or transmissions. I use I use hand tools only. But I, I'm not doing this. He is. I, I just I just want to say, look at the last time on the video, and now try and imagine how much longer it would be if I use nothing but hand tools. Because it. It would be longer. Head bolts work to mount on the stand. So you're saying that the head bolts on this thing are... are... Oh, shit. Is that right? No. That's what he's saying. Let me... Try to screw that into the transmission. Hell no, that doesn't work. No, not even close. Bad advice. Hazmat corner. Well, uh, we're all going to die from this. Oh, heads off. We got push rods. Yes. And, and now we see why he's a body guy. How's that game go up? I, I, you know, I don't know nothing about nothing. Oh, that's a nice gasket. Yeah? Yeah. I can tell by reading this gasket, this was a fine running automobile. Yeah, it, it really was. Put this over in the rest of the murder scene. <sighs> you know, you should change the title of the video, like how not to do this. That's what this is. Well, you what this is. I was unprepared. Well, I was mentally unfocused. Well, it said in the in the in the description, will he succeed or will he die? Well, I guess if I don't die, that means I've succeeded. Exactly. So you can, I mean, listen. If you're aware of what's going on, you have succeeded. Yeah. If I, if you're going, if you find yourself heading to the light, you didn't. But it would make it would be YouTube gold. <laughs> you know. So know that it wasn't in vain. Oh, that's one off. Yeah. That would keep it from coming. <laughs> you guys knew. If I get off this chair, I need scuba gear. <laughs> okay. Dude, you need hazmat gear, sure. I need, I need, I need scuba gear. Well, you know, I mean, if anything, you know, from how much I was sweeping earlier, that I know how to clean up. So, next time they're visiting Magnum Corner, the mess won't be here. Yes, he's keeping the EFI, Charles Manson. Charles Manson, huh? <laughs> there's more there's more liquid hitting the floor. It's wetter in here than it is outside, and it's been raining for two hours. <laughs> there's more any freeze on the floor than I have in my Jeep. <laughs> no, look how clear that is. That's not any freeze. It's not at no, least. No, it's green. It's green. I can see it. It's greenish, yeah. yeah. But there's some mixed in there. There's another head. Why can't the push rod just Look at you go, look at you go. Beautiful music. <laughs> he he does engines as well as I sand cars. You know, I mean, it, it, it might not be as much of a shit show going back together. That's that's my in, in true hope. Yes, yes, John. The lifter push rod angle is a vestige of the Poly 318, and it's the same on the early Hemis. And they were laid over that way so that the push rod could get at the exhaust rocker. Okay, Tom. What's the time for? It's time for cylinder wall examination. Whee! What do you think? Let's have a look. I'm going to look at cylinder walls. Okay, hang on. I'm going to turn on the flashlight on my phone. I got one in my pocket. Hang on. 
I am gonna take a look. I, I, I can't. Don't, yeah, don't, 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 just don't get off your chair, I guess. Look. Look. That looks okay. Yeah. Yeah, we aren't even gonna have to worry about it. Good home. Good home. Okay. That is excellent. Flip it around. Flip it around. Excellent news. Uh, I mean, little... It's gonna take some hole and get that. You think standard rings just gapped? Yeah, I think it'll be all right. Yeah. All right. Solar walls look okay. Good news. Oh man. What this is that? this is why Jesus gave us low tension steel rings. Oh, okay. Uh, Charles Minson, I meant to say ECU and not EFI. Is he going aftermarket with a tunable ECU? Are you going aftermarket with a tunable ECU? You can tune the ECUs that are in this thing. You, you it's can. not. It's not awesome, but uh, it'll. It'll. Someone can go in there and compensate for the tiny cam upgrade and uh, the slight improvement to the intake manifold. I mean that that can be done. What the hell have I done? I'm not, I'm I've been doubting my life choices now for quite a while to tell you the truth. At least this afternoon, right? We should have just gotten bought more mini bikes. The video master, imagine if Upper County could see us watching live. I mean, that would wreck the whole illusion for me because I, you guys don't even exist, really. I'm just, I'm just talking to the computer. I'm talking to myself. Tyler McIntyre, the world needs more mini bikes. I agree. I agree. I've got money burning a hole in my pocket, and uh, with any luck, I'll have a mini bike tomorrow. We should have done that this morning. We both we both had a pile of cash in our hands, and I was like, "Let's go buy let's go buy mini bikes." And he's like, "No, I have to go remodel the kitchen." And I'm like, "No, let's go get mini bikes." And he's like, "I gotta go remodel the kitchen." What's the result? No mini bikes and this. <laughs> okay, now now do you see what I was saying? Zero saying what I've come to understand is apparently you should always buy a mini bike. If you, you want to avoid, the, if you have the opportunity to buy a mini bike, buying a mini bike is always the right thing to do. If you want to avoid this, okay, then you buy a mini bike. It's that simple. This isn't very absorbent, but maybe it'll be simple for us. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, uh, if I move the camera, it's going to go out. I want to show these guys what this. It's like another, you know, floor diaper, but it's just not very good. The one that's there isn't very good. It's no, it's fine. It's just you put so many gallons of liquid on it. <laughs> I should have brought a whole box of pig mat, not just like six sheets. All right, I'm going to lift it up. We're gonna, we're gonna. I guess we're gonna drop the crank since I can't mount it and flip it like properly. How do you feel about that? Are you gonna take the damper off? I would like to do that. Yes. You can't. Why not? And because you got the motor being supported by the water pump housing, and if you take the damper off, well, it's not gonna do any good because you can't take the, the water. Just take the pistons out. I see what you're saying. Just take the pistons out. <laughs> Oh. Show the link, Joe. This, this, this.
this is a rickety old camera and, and laptop setup that I have here. I, I have to upgrade. I have to upgrade. But if I move this, it goes out. And I don't want to take that chance of, 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 the, of the stream ending like that. I got I got a uh, I got a somewhat cobbled together solution. We're gonna take a nice picture of this unbelievable load of crap here. Justin Billington says looks like a nice deck on that engine. It, it it's a very nice deck. So can you can you see this? Uh, it doesn't go very good. No, see you all can't. that red at least. Oh jeez, yeah. Okay. See all the red? Yeah, that I yeah. I could have done this better. Better. Are you going to rebuild the water pump? Yeah, we have nothing, nothing really better to do. So we'll rebuild the water pump. Rebuild the water pump. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard of that being done before. <laughs> Caleb Parker wants to know, and and. and so, so people are going to be watching this for like months and possibly years to come, sure, right? Sure, sure, sure. And so, so let's get this let's get this straight here. Caleb Parker is asking, why are you tearing it down, hanging off the cherry picker, and not the engine stand? Because I didn't consider the need for certain bolts to hold the engine to the engine stand. No, I did. I, I didn't consider that. I told him days ago. I said, you got to get a little fluids out of it. Got to get it mounted on the engine stand. He's like, yeah. <laughs> It was, it's not so much that I was like, yeah, it's like, just like you, I have squirrel brain. Wayne is saying, if you're going to make a mess, you might as well be good at it. I agree. Hey, maybe one day I'll be better. Sucking at something is the first step towards being kind of good at something. Marcus Norman says, embrace the fact you will inevitably make a mess and you won't be disappointed when it happens. Yeah, well, I mean, he, yeah, I, I was ready for this. Why there's floor diapers. Tulip gang, if the hoist falls like mine does, sometimes he's gone. Um, yeah, nah, he can he can scoot I'm out of the way. Off to the side a little. I think that was new. Caleb was saying he has quite a few of those Milwaukee M18 power tools and really likes them. Uh, yeah, I made the switch six-ish years ago. Dude, that thing's going to hit you in the head. Never look back. Well, if it swings hard enough, it might. I don't think it's swinging very hard right now. It just looks like from, from here. like. Sure. It's, I... Luckily, it's not like swinging violently. Yeah. 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 Oh, we're into the two hour. We're at the two hour three minute mark. Is that, am I going to win a prize for the longest live? Oh no, we, we've done 10, 11 hours. Oh, that's right, the paint drying. Shit. No, I've actually done like when we first started the channel. I used to do like a bunch of like really long marathon lives. There, you want to do a expert analysis? There's our uh, wow. rod bearing surfaces. Ooh. Let's see. Factory original, as far as I know. That is beautiful. Look, that is, that's a nice rod bearing surface. You see those specks? Those specks of dirt. That means that the filter has been on this thing for eons and eons and eons, and it bypassed. And so all of those little, all those little specks are from dirt getting embedded in the bearing. And that's what the surf that's what the soft surface of the bearing is for. To take those little pieces of, you know, whatever it gets through there, embed them so that they don't gouge things up. So yes, that that bearing actually looks pretty nice. Here you go.
Terrence Seymour is saying, good to see the dipstick is still in. <laughs> All right, that's number three. Will it matter if we're swapping in new bearings? What's that? Which cap to which Oh, yeah, the cap has to go back to the rod. All right. So this you cannot mess them up. Do them one at a time. This is one, three, five. Is that right? One, three, five, seven on the right side, on the driver's side? What's that? Driver's side, one, three, five, seven. Yeah. This is number three. Caleb Parker, tell me, what's your typical oil change interval? Well, like anything else, I am a manic extremist, okay? So, like, I do everything, one extreme or the other. So, on any of the, like, performance, like, muscle-type car, you know, the hot rods. On hot rods, I change the oil fanatically. Like, like if, if I see it turn from crystal clean to even, like, just a little darker tan, I freak out. Okay, and on my daily drivers, I change the oil when the engine knocks. As soon as as soon as I hear it, I'll go past the lifter noise. You know what I mean? And you know, because I can deal with the lifter noise for a couple of days, but then as soon as I hear the motor knocking, I I dump more oil in it, and it's not necessarily new oil. So, like I said, I'm a manic extremist. If it's a hot rod, I panic if the oil even gets a little dirty. And then and then and then on the street cars, I I just don't care. I just I I wish I cared. I wish I had it in me to care, but I don't. It's the funniest thing. Um, Russell Parker, Tony, have you ever been to the Capitol Theater in Port Chester, New York? No, but I had a friend, Billy Belfato. Uh, we used to race a lot. He was from Port Chester. Good guy. Um, Willem Buford, Tony changes his oil in the Waffle House parking lot. Only when my damn manager isn't watching. Shopcat Industries, brother man. See you later. Tony, where did Stuby go and why? <sighs> Hope, hopefully he's rehabbing. Hopefully. Mandatory dipstick removal. No. Here's the challenge now. You're going to do this entire job. You're going to do this entire thing with, with the dipstick in place. <laughs> including sending it to the machine shop. <laughs> they, they, they can't do... Any modification, you can't do any work where that requires removing the dipstick. That's the new UTG channel challenge. Big Bear Jones, I'm planning on building a 5.9 Magnum for a carburetor and LA intake. You gotta watch the LA intake. You know, you gotta get one of those manifolds that has both bolt patterns in there, yeah, or, or you gotta do some drilling and stuff to, to make the LA intake fit. Uh, possibly a 408 stroker, lots of torque for a truck build. Any tips? I'm not not really. I mean, clean do, up. Do a better job taking it apart. Do a better job taking it apart. You're not taking a dipstick out, are you? Well, I mean. Come on, man. That's our new we can't, we, we, that's our new thing. Dipstick and engine builds. That's gonna be our trademark. Our trademark from now on is gonna be the dipstick in engine build. And I dare anybody else on YouTube to 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 try it. Go ahead. If you could build an engine with the dipstick in it better than we can, well then you know what? Then I'm you won. A, All right, then you won. Put on a shirt too. Put on a shirt. Dip, keep the dipstick in. Greg McDonald's saying, careful, China might steal his dip technology. I worry about that, too. I worry about that, too. I worry more about the Vietnamese, honestly, to tell you the truth. You know? Because they haven't forgotten. They haven't forgotten. All that napalm and shit like that, they haven't forgotten. And, and they're going to rob that.
Martin and, 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 and Zaldua. I'm sorry, I have a trouble with that last name. Hey, Ron, don't give in a peer pressure. Leave the dipstick in. <laughs> punji um, sticks. Yes, punji sticks. Punji sticks. Punji sticks. What the hell? Oh, man, that was what, the, the, what they used to do, the, the, the Vietnamese. Yeah. They used, to, they used to dig pits. Okay. Oh, like tiger traps? And they would put they would put wooden stakes in there, yeah. and it would cover them in shit. Oh. So you'd step through the stake would go through your foot, and the shit would infect the wound. Gangrene. That's what a punji stick is. But we were using napalm. I mean, for Christ's sake, you know, fair is fair. Marcus Norman says, I have rebuilt several four-cylinder Toyota engines with the dipstick in. They break off if you try to pull them. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, well, if only this was a Toyota four-cylinder, there wouldn't be so much mess on the floor. I know that. <laughs> I regret. Uh, Nice sound. I like There's that. Another There's another bearing. Another bearing. Oh, let's see this bearing. It's another. You guys want to see the bearing? It's another rod bearing. Let's see. What's this look like? Ooh. Is this an upper? That might be. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because it because the cap was on the other side of it. Detonation. Now, that is a. Uh, that's a side effect of the guaranteed failure of the factory intake plenum gasket. Uh, it's not showing up. It's not showing up on. See on the, on the camera here, you can't see it. On the camera here, you can't see it. But right, right here, you can. There's a there's a line where it's discolored, and that is from detonation. And, I, and how I know it's detonation and not oil starvation is because it's off to the side. It's actually in, see, like, this is the center. This would be, like, exact top dead center, okay, during the stroke. But this is a couple of degrees before top dead center right here. And so that means that the thing was hammering before top dead center. So we know that that's detonation. It's, it's a side effect of that gasket. Let's see the rest of it. This is the piston. You saw the bottom of that piston. That uh, oh no, no you didn't. Here, there's your. I can't. That's the. This is the upper for number seven. I think that's the upper for number number uh, eight. This is number for number eight. Let me see that. Let me see that. This is piston number seven. Yeah, but let me see the other one. The one that this came from. Charles Manson, yo, you were Tony, you want some kittens? No, 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 no. No, don't send them in the mail either. You're not supposed to send cats in the mail. This, this is piston number eight corresponds with that bearing. This is the this is the, That's the bearing that came from this piston. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, ring lands are good. Nothing. It's bent. Bent. Yeah. Hey, that means I get to order pistons. Oh no no, it means the rod is bent. Oh no, really? Your connecting rod is bent. You get you see that right there? It's it's a it's a clean scuff mark right alongside and in line with the pin. That means that this rod this rod is bent towards towards towards, towards that that. What's in that See all those other people left because it was taking too long. This we're getting into good stuff. Yeah, this is the nitty gritty now. Oh, here, look at the 
the cylinder wall. Yep. If you can safely stand up. No, I can see it. Just a little different. I see it. So I probably might need a bore, huh? Yeah. And this, okay, the oil ring is not stuck. Yeah, damn it. So on this cylinder, on, on number eight, is we've got signs of detonation on the shell, and we've got a bent connecting rod. And you can see by the scuff mark on the piston, and he's confirming it now on the cylinder wall. I don't know if you guys can, can see it. Probably not. Probably not. But yeah, there's, there's, a, there's, a, odd wear there's a clear scuff on the cylinder wall that would match that. So it's going to a machine shop. I put the caps. Don't mix these caps up. I have, I've got them numbered over here. Okay. So How do you know what number, number this is? That's number eight. This is number seven. Well, we'll put the caps on before you have a chance of actually mixing. Them. Okay. Although that rod's junk. You're not going to use that rod again. Right. I'll still put it on there. Just... That's right. Dean Stevens is saying detonation due to injector blockage. That's a possibility. It would be a lot more current, though. Caleb Parker, did this engine run well before it was pulled? Did this engine run well before it was pulled? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it was, um, I mean, it had 165,000 miles on it, I think. It was, um, it was a, a little noisy. So I guess there's, there's why it was a little noisy. <clears throat> uh, book Joker ATV. How's your motorcycle doing? I have a few of them. Which one? <laughs> so, Fred, so Ron works like a dog, and you calmly tell us why his engine sucks. Good gig. Yes, I know. This is. The, I I finally got to the point in my life that I could do that. Number two, no, number four, I'm sorry, number four. Okay, so this is about some too. mark, no. No. That doesn't look bad. It's got the, it's got the same kind of marks as this one. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Just just here. Just tear yeah. this thing apart. We got we're, we're running late. Two hours eighteen. Two hours and twenty minutes to take this three sixty apart. Charlie, when are you? When are we going to start that engine? This engine? Tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We just got to go, uh, we got to go source some more glass barbecue. Oh, well, well, there's the upper shell number three. Just use a rod stretcher to fix that rod. <laughs> Charles Mason, Tony, you should do a video on removing pressed wrist pins without royally screwing either the rod or the piston. I did that video. I did that video, and and I tell you, I tell you, okay. So I do, I I do it with a torch. I do it with a torch. I use I use a map gas torch. I heat the big end of the rod while it's in the piston. When it gets hot enough, I knock the pin out. I keep the rod hot, and then I I I put the new one together, right? Because I don't like to try to I don't like to heat them and reheat them and stuff like that. But when I did that video, and nobody ever mentioned it, nobody ever mentioned it, but I saw it, okay? When I did that video to demonstrate that, I got the I got the big, the small end of the rod way too hot. Like you could actually see it, with, with a, like like a, a, like you see it red, all right? And it should never get that hot. But I wasn't, I was. See, that's the thing. When you when you're doing this stuff, I'm paying more attention to like the camera, and and like I'm not really looking at what I'm doing. So I actually went too hot on that connecting rod. Like I, said, I don't think anybody saw it. But I saw it. It was there. 
But like I said, I, I do them with a torch. And we will swap over the pistons onto our, on our Jeep motor doing it that way also. Buffed up campus saying it's a good life with somebody working in the shop. I agree. I agree. Sure, Marshall. Don't forget to rebuild the water pump before we start the engine. Yes. We're gonna we're definitely we're gonna rebuild the water pump. I'll just get a new one. No, why would we do that? <laughs> There you go. This one's a little different. This is uh, number five, bottom shell number five. It looks a little different. A lot of dirt in it. Wear pattern's a little different. Yeah. A lot of dirt in it. Oh, the bottom shell number six has got a line in it. What do you think about that? That's all right. This is just typical high mileage type of stuff. Okay. That's fine. So now do you remember what But you all mean? those all those speckles, no, I don't. That's the line's number six. I got it. Okay. That's number five. All of those all of those speckles are dirt. Right. They got embedded in the in, bearing. Infrequent oil changes. Infre well, yeah, it, either it, like the filter, once the filter clogs, yeah. It goes through the bypass and nothing gets filtered. Yeah. So that's what that's well, where all that is. Also there was a Fram filter on here. Pirate Greg, great live exactly 100% when he needed tonight. Awesome. I'm glad we can help. Danny Boyd, you still ain't seen any copper yet. Yeah, there's some. Well, here. Yeah. Yeah, there's, the, there's some copper. Yeah, I was going to say there's some uh, on this upper shell number five. I get it to look there. It's it's pretty warm. Uh, there you go. That's upper number five. Yeah. Yeah, this engine had some hard miles on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Dad. Dad used to... I mean, nothing drastic. It'd probably go on another 100,000 miles like that, but it... He used to take off from work, I mean, and just bounce it off the limiter going down that crappy little country road where we lived. Um, Samantha Johnson says, you watched while making cabbage rolls. I've never had that, and I, and I really don't want to try it, but I'm, I, I hope they're delicious. Right. What uh, kind of cabbage roll? What's in it? Charles Manson says the copper just means the motor is properly broken in. I agree. <laughs> Swamp right is saying, I, I'm trying to learn at what point Ron will be using the duct tape. Duct tape? Yeah. At some point, at some point zip ties and duct tape have to enter this equation. Uh, no. Four minutes ski shop. Hey, Tony, I really enjoy your channel. Thank you, man. Keep up the good work. I love Magnum engines. I have one of my 73 Dodge Dart Sport. Excellent. There, you know, I, I'm just, I love LAs. I have, I just have a thing for LAs. But if, if I, if I didn't have so many parts and it, yeah, I'd be using Magnums too. Samantha, honestly, it's my first time ma ever making them, so hopefully they turn out. Uh, they turn out. Huh? I doubt it. Oh, you'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be what's fine. In them? What's in them? Well, I don't know. What, uh, Samantha? What's in them? Um, 
Caleb Parker, yep, apparently the 4.7 is an old AMC design that Chrysler dusted off in the late 90s to replace the 318. You're you're right. The the, the 4.7 is a travesty. The 4.7 is one of the worst, most ill-conceived designs I have ever come across. I rebuilt two of them back when I was doing like regular car work, and I will I I never touch one again. They were garbage. It's a half-breed German thing. The French. French, French, French has French origins. It goes back to the Chrysler or to the uh, to the Jeep Renault thing. Oh no! Yeah, that was uh, going to be so their I premium V8. Yeah. Of the Daimler merger. No, previous to that. Oh no! Fred Larson, Tony, would you ever buy a new crank and bearings before disassembling an engine? I mean, if I'm going to change the stroke, yeah, of course. Um, Samantha, okay, ground beef, good so far. Cooked rice, okay. excellent. Onion, garlic, and seasoning, rolled up in a cabbage leaf. See, Sam, like you got me. All that stuff is good. I love all that stuff. You lost me with the cabbage leaf, though. Yeah. Isn't there something else you could have cooked that in, like a tortilla? Oh, oh yeah, right. Well, that should have been a tortilla, Sam. What about uh, what about hey Tony? Do you yeah. ever do you ever do corned beef and cabbage? No, no. I don't touch of, cabbage. You don't do leaf. I vegetables? I I do I do egg rolls. I eat egg rolls. Egg rolls have cabbage on. Yeah, but they're also deep fried. So but they're deep fried, kind of, so it offsets. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, you know, cabbage is one of those. Cabbage is one of those things. I don't think um, no, just just like no, you know. <laughs> Just no. Just no. Oh. Um, it's like it's like it's like okay, you got broccoli, right? Huh? And you know what? I like broccoli. Yeah. I'm down with broccoli. I I, I, I like sometimes I actually really on, really enjoy it. I'm putting that on a shirt. Down with broccoli. Cauliflower? What is up with that? <laughs> I wouldn't touch that. I wouldn't run it over with my freaking car. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Instead of ca- oh, Vince Moore, Vince, you got the idea. Instead of cabbage, use a bell pepper. Oh, hey. Okay. That's okay. there. You go. There you go. Sam, did you did you see that, Sam? Sam, don't listen to him. I'm sure the I'm sure the cabbage rolls are good. I'm sure they're really good. Oh, yeah, more copper. Here we go. All right, pistons are out. Pistons okay. are out. Uh, Crashes Roadrunner Garage. So you're saying I shouldn't put head gaskets on my O2 4.7? No. Dude, don't take my word. Listen, don't don't listen to what I say. Don't listen to what I say. Google it. Google is your friend. Now listen. A five seven swap, a Hemi swap is easy on a truck originally equipped for the 4.7 because the wiring is so similar. Oh. Why don't All you come right? down so they can see it? Okay. Yeah. It's more like a Sasquatch. It's like, it's so like 11 feet tall. Do what, do what he's saying. Now Google he's way it. way down there. You, you know, just Google it. You'll see. 5.7 is pretty easy to swap into a truck originally equipped for 4.7. And it'll do you a lot better than even a rebuilt 4.7. What does Sam say? Samantha. I always bond with the girls. I like, I like, so Samantha's saying, this is a good idea, into stuffed peppers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would be delicious. That would really be good. Variety, though. Variety you know what? Spice of life. Do them both ways. Do, do them with a nice, like, a flour tortilla, okay, and do them with, with, the, with the pepper. Do them both ways. It, 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 but no more cabbage. Don't, don't do the cabbage anymore. Please. No more cabbage, please. Oh shit! What a mess. Okay. All right. You wanna you wanna call this good for this this episode? You're not gonna pull the crank out. I mean, I could, I guess. Well, let's what look. Do you, you got what are we gonna do about getting in that getting that bolt out? Well, you're gonna have to mount this on the stand. Yeah. But you're well, clearly not gonna. I don't have I don't have the bolts. Number one. I have bolts. You have bolts. You, but you're gonna have to dig for them. Oh. Mm. Um, but this, this, you're clearly not, 
shape right now. Wow, I've oh got so much cleaning to do. Oh yeah. my god. So so the mount the engine on the stand, but at least pop pop the caps off and let's see what kind of shape the crank is. Okay. That's a can do. Bacon is the best wrap. Bacon. Bacon. Oh yeah. Right. Seriously, right? Eric is saying crankshaft, crankshaft, crankshaft. We're, we're getting it. Marcus Bolt has a great idea. Feed the cabbage to the hogs, turn the hogs into bacon. Just the circle of life. That's it. <laughs> it's good to be at the top of the food chain, right? Jason Fitch, are the old head bolts the right size? To no, they're not, not even close. I don't know what, what this guy was talking about. Just drop the engine on the floor upside down and pull the crank. He's got to pull the, the damper and everything off yet. It, it's we're already we're already two and a half hours into this. I'm about talked out. And we got to do a live tomorrow night. So I was like, mm. yes, man, the fresh slabs of bacon. I was doing the uh, I was doing a carnivore diet for about a month last over the winter right in the beginning of the winter i was doing a carnivore diet so i was eating bacon like i mean i mean pounds of bacon every day i was making everything out of bacon you name it it was all about the bacon survival of the hungriest that's right frank c wouldn't it be easier to disassemble that engine on the engine stand and sitting behind them we're, but Frank, where's the sport in that? Come on, man, think about it. Anybody could have done that. And and you got the big dipstick still in it. The dipstick is never getting removed. Caleb Parker, how's your cholesterol, Mr. Tony? I'll be dead in three years. Yeah, yeah. But I'll be full. You know what I mean? I'll be dead, but I'll be we full could, we, and we happy. We can make candles out of what you scrape out of Tony's veins, I think. No, 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 no. Tyler, you eat bacon frequently as well. GFS, man, you go to GFS, they got really good bacon there. I mean, you get the, the two pounder is like 12 bucks. Yeah, GFS, yeah. Or three pounds, whatever it is. It's a good deal. GFS. Yep. Yeah. Get the wow. medium cut. Costco's got some good bacon as well. Glenn Nickerson says, I wish I could brush my teeth with bacon. I do. I do. Steven Stevenson, the Hemi is based on LA architecture with a huge rework to super new heads and cam positions. Not even close. There is nothing except the bolt pattern on the back of the block that, that even, even closely resembles the LA. Get your bacon a tractor supply like a real man. Now, nah, find your local pig farmer and climb over his fence if you want to be a real man. Zero. Waitress asked me what protein I wanted. Since you asked, I would know. I would like to know if it was hunted, if hunted and fought for its life and speared to, speared to death. I like to wow. stuff. I like to think that my, my stuff went painlessly. You know what I'm saying? The zap or the the 22, you know, between the eyeballs. It, was it the new Hemi? It was. It wasn't designed in Germany. It was. It was. It was a. It was a combination of of the Germans and and uh, and Chrysler.
Mitten made muscle, no stealing pigs, Tony. We don't know. No, no, I wouldn't steal a pig, but I'm saying if you want to, you want to like, like be, you know, man, pig, man, pork eater, you know, then yeah, you, you, you go steal a pig. There's your main cap number three. Ooh, wow. Main cap number two. That's like, that's like modern art. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Number one. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's the shroud of Torin <laughs> in in a in a in a main bearing. Look at that. Huh. I'm gonna save that. <laughs> Bore spacing are exactly the same. Yeah, that's okay. Bore spacing is 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 more or less a random number. Nothing nothing else in the architecture is Charles Manson, don't steal pigs and don't send kittens in the mail. No, exactly. D one fifty, this is painful. Never seen a back ass would tear down like this. Welcome to our world, I've man. I've never done one. This is his first so, time doing this stuff. This is, you know. And instead of helping him, I'm sitting here talking to you guys. I've done some top end work. I've done top end rebuilds. I, I tried to give him some guidance. It didn't, it didn't really work. All right, I got one, two, four. He better mark those main caps. No, the main caps are always numbered. See, right here, three, two, one. Yeah, and the main four. caps are main caps are always stamped or 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 cast. George Grinter says, first time tear down. Well done, man. Well done. I appreciate it. I. Hey, you know what? Wayne says that this was much better than a tweaker operation. Is that a reference to uh, someone from your past? Which one? I've had a couple. I don't know. There was the one guy that hung out with you at uh, uh, Mid South Mopars. Yeah, please. I know. I know. I know. But I, I, let's not let's not talk about. No, it. I don't want to sully the guy. He just, you know, uh, he had a look. Is all. Uh, All right. Are you are you satisfied, Master Tony? D one hundred and fifty says it's like a train wreck. I can't look away. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know what? Hopefully, <laughs> that's why just... I'm facing in this direction. <laughs> Hopefully, it's just it's made it more a, a somewhat entertaining. You know, somewhat. It was somewhat something. <laughs> it, it, there, there was something happened here. <laughs> Gabriel DeMarconos wants to know so how many main caps are holding up the crane? Just uh, just the one and the, the timing cover. So he's got he's still got number five in there and he has the timing cover on it. Yeah, yeah. I did I did start to take number five off and I was like, wait, this is a terrible idea. And so I I, I put one of the bolts back. <laughs> Flying debris says, gotta start somewhere. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, I've done uh, three or four like four cylinder head and timing jobs, but first time you tore down. Yeah. Flying debris says you got to start somewhere. Good job. Uh, George Grinter, if you don't look at the problem, it's not your responsibility. I've been saying that all along. <laughs> CCE says you're, he's glad you didn't die. No one's bleeding. Nobody's what bleeding. No, no one's bleeding. No, no, any stitches. What, what you're saying, Tony? It's a good day if you don't need stitches. Mm -hmm. Now I've got to go buy 50 pounds of cat litter and uh, soak all this shit up. <laughs> huh. uh, Diesel. Hey, Tony, does the engine block have to hold the power or does the parts inside have to hold the power? For example, if I put everything in a cast block, would a block explode? 
Well, depends on the block, man. It depends on what you're subjecting it to. You can very easily push a, a cast iron block past its limits. Thumper is saying if you're working on a vehicle and not bleeding, you're not working fast enough. Good point. Need some shock stands to support the crank. Uh, George Gunner, are you smoking hand rolled? I thought there was just yes. I've been smoking hand rolled cigarettes since I'm 10 years old. 50 years. 50 years. I've smoked them for 50 years. Pirate Greg says nobody burnt their hand up. That's true. No burned hands on either of us. I think he left. I think he's done. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's weird walking through that hall and there's not a sports Not a motorcycle there, there right? Uh, do you think you've abused your followers enough? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, have you guys had enough abuse yet? Jeff, I need to be out of my house in four days and I'm doing this instead. Can't you make up with her? <laughs> you just assumed it was a fight. Caleb Parker, Parker, what's better, aluminum block or cast iron? Aluminum is better because it has a higher tensile strength than cast iron. Wait, aluminum block? Yes. Better in what way? It has a higher tensile strength than aluminum. It resists, it resists cracking better than cast iron does. Whereas the flip side, the cast iron head will make more horsepower than an aluminum head because of the heat dissipation of the aluminum. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, aluminum heads, the engines get a little hot, don't they? Well, no, an aluminum head, the aluminum head sheds the heat. You want the heat in the cylinder head because that's that supports combustion. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Jackson, good luck cleaning up Lake Dextron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's brutal. It's wait. I'm gonna. I can take the chance on moving the camera now, right? Because we're, all right. So listen, if I move this camera and it goes out because it, it might, it's got a weird connection. Just you know, thanks for joining us. But here, let me give this a shot. <laughs> Lake Dextron. Yeah, yeah. What's this stuck on? Oops. Okay. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh. So. Uh-oh, I broke. Okay, there we go. I have to be really careful with that or, or it'll. <sighs> so aluminum has other benefits aside from weight savings. Yes. Um, it's the Red Sea where Moses. Where's where, Moses? Where's Moses? I, you know, I could put a tur like a towel over my head. I've got the beard. I could I could play the part. Uh. Good night, Pirate Greg. It's almost like SCTV when they did Count Floyd, Count Floyd's Monster Chiller Theater in 3D. I remember that. I remember that. It was like, yeah. yeah. 3D. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm crushing your head. I'm, I'm crushing, crushing your head. I'm crushing your head. You know who you remind me of sometimes? Who's that? Danny DeVito if he huffed a lot of gas. Uh, that's possible. Yeah. I'm taller than he is. No, I know. I know. I just meant personality wise. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, All right, so guys, that's. I think that's it. I think. I think. I think we've taken enough of this thing apart, and you've taken enough abuse watching it. 
You have <laughs> suffered enough. Don't try to save your lives. I hope, I hope somehow all of you will be able to put this out of your head. <laughs> Please forget this ever happened. <clears throat> forget this ever happened. <clears throat> The trolls are going to be all over this. Uh, the trolls are going to be all over. You should see that way he tore that motor down. It was hanging on. I couldn't even put it on the engine stand. Oh, God. Food Bar put up the link to our merch. Food Bar, thank you so much. Awesome. Food Bar is one of our illustrious mods. He's been one of us since like the very beginning. As has Zero, who names Project Cars, among other things. And, and Ari, who, who does his own live every sunday night after our live so we go on at seven and, and we usually get off at nine sunday night and we'll be on so we'll be on tomorrow night sunday night kathy should be healing up from her uvula transplant by then and uh so we'll be on tomorrow night sunday night and then right after we go off then ari goes on and and it's it's the after the tony so you guys want to and, and please go sub to these guys and uh, Jeff, you thought this was a great stream. I, I'm, I'm not even sure how we, how we made it through. To tell you the truth, uh, Uncle Kathy is saying, "Bring home the laptop." Uh oh. Now, okay, that means we have deep technical issues back at the house if we got to bring the, the laptop home. So. Uh, deep technical issues. Yes. That's right. Uh oh. I, I have nothing to do with this. I, I, I. All right, guys. So that's it. Everybody who joined us tonight, everybody who contributed with Super Chat, thank you so much. We greatly appreciate it. It's what cleans up. It's what pays for all the shit we need to clean this mess up. Thank you. We're going to buy a 55-gallon drum, drum up degreaser. Everybody contributed just at your presence and, you, and, and your conversation and everything. We thank you equally. Um, and that's it. I'm pulling a plug on this thing for now, and we will see you tomorrow. Good night, all. Oh, wait. I can't end the stream yet. Not yet. Look, I have to hit, I have to hit not yet. Ron didn't say goodbye. Ron, right. say goodbye to everybody. Guys, I hope you were entertained. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. There you go. All right, guys. Good night, all.